Welcome to Chaos One Gaming Battle Reports for Miniature War Games. Thanks for joining us, and if you like what you see, don't forget to subscribe. And here's what you're here for. On with the games. Enjoy. Yeah, and I think. So thank you for joining us, today. Uh, all right, finally. It's on, brain. My internet has. Uh... Inspired to make me late. <laughs> I've gone. I've gone for a seamless transition between broadband providers today, uh, with a good like twelve hour break of internet. So, uh, so we're we're just on turn one. This is uh, this is Sexy Flanders versus uh, South Africa uh, Tukalashi. Uh, Jan is playing the bottom here uh, with Dreamer, and at the top we have Tim playing. Bane Witch Agathea? Bane Witch Agathea, yeah. Who I'm not sure I've seen play in a long time. Um, so thanks for joining us if you are. Uh, lists are on tie break. Uh, I'll try and get them together in a bit. Uh, I need to go and make sure my kids are actually sleeping. Uh, but I basically just wanted to, to jump on, um, set the scene so you guys can see what's happening. Uh, everyone's watching. So I'm going to. Bump up the player audio a little bit, uh, let you uh, enjoy. Hello, the CPs are now. Uh, just noticed that no one has CPs. The one thing I haven't changed. But yeah, so it's uh, the end of end of the turn one. Um, Jan's just running a figure up. Um, we've got observatory for the the Grimkins. Um, uh, Objective dug out on the quick side and all four down ruin and sacrifice as the arcana of choice. And um, which uh, I think uh, makes sense. They're ready. <laughs> there you go. So turn two. We didn't miss a lot. We didn't miss too much. Yeah, but the, the trees are even 21 at the moment, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so... Around the yeah, casters. Um, there's nothing really in sight here that makes that. Bit better. If I am just trying to go. Yeah. Last bit of casters there. So uh, we should have everything else we need. So there you go. So I will be back in... Uh, in a minute, I'll just bump up the player audio for you to listen as uh, <laughs> as they talk about it. This is uh, unfortunately uh, there is there is no win condition for the team for South Africa. Uh, they've already lost, but um, uh, these guys can just have a quite good time together. So uh, enjoy. I'll be back with you shortly. Um, I'll apparate, I guess, and then we can think about what we actually yeah, want to do. I'm gonna upgrade my module back and my beans forward. They can always run back if I want to. Yeah. Okay, that's apparition. Um, now, what do we actually do? The clocks go 11, the, the one clock goes 13. Mm -hmm. The trees go 13, but there's no way to, to see through stealth apart from the observatory and with the clocks, but the clocks don't care about stealth anyway. Exactly. Mm. This is so hard, Jan, why you do this thing? <laughs> Yay, I'm making you think. But I don't want it. <laughs> you picked the wrong game, kid. Shit. <laughs> uh, could get at least four banes on that tree at dice minus nine. I'm not going to kill it. So why bother? Also not a good place to be.
There's no counter charge or anything, right? Nope. Fine, I'll just charge in the night and see what happens. Yeah, damn straight. Maybe I kill a tree. Maybe I don't. <laughs> we will never know. We will never know. Unless I try. <laughs> so this guy gets to charge over there. Mm -hmm. The front guy will go in there. Uh, this guy can definitely draw line of sight. Yeah, he's alright. This guy too. Well, I can actually get a lot more in than I thought, I guess. Maybe I'll kill a tree. Who knows? Is it just a tree, though? That's what the guard says. <laughs> Come on, I know you can fit there. Yeah, that looks good. Perfect. Skills. Mad skills. Did he get there? Why, yes, he could. Beautiful. Maybe I kill it. Um, I'm gonna pop the mini feet, and the rest is just gonna run. I auto hit the tree, or do I need to hit like? Uh, no, you auto hit it. Great, that's the way I like it. <laughs> you had minus two to auto hit it, if that if that makes a difference. Cheat. <laughs> uh, so I got seven that made it. I'm about 14 on the charge because I got brutal. Because you're angry, yep. Yes. Uh, first one, off seven, no. Second one, well, six damage. Ooh, that'll do. That's a strong start, uh, yep. Third one, uh, we'll kill it, apparently. Yeah, see, you don't need seven. Apparently. I <laughs> kind of blank on the fact that I had brutal charge instead, until I actually had to roll it. Yeah. You've gone for the other tree as well. <laughs> um, the ones that charge do get to reposition because that's also a thing. That's also a thing they can do. And it's a good thing, generally. So I We shall that. see. We shall see. I also forget it very often, so. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> Come on, yeah. Actually, I need to leave him there. Or his buddies won't make it. I'm trying to figure out if I get a corpse for it or not. <laughs> uh, I RP it on destroyed, so you would still get a corpse, actually. Yeah, I mean, it, there's nothing that says it doesn't give a corpse. I suppose yeah. there's, a ni there's a nice scantily clad lady in front of the tree that we can probably get her corpse. Uh, it's not a construct, is it? No. No, I was just having a look. So it's alive yeah, for all intents and purposes. Yeah. Check me out. All right. Oops, so. that's fury for some reason. Okay. Boing. Does one clock at risk kill my caster? Probably. <laughs> Have you heard of our Lord and Savior Manifest Destiny? Um, yes. Okay. Nah. That's good. That's good. I think that's a good start. No preaching required. <laughs> um,
This little guy will run over there. Right up. Crossbow marks there. So there we go. Digs himself Digs in again, sleep. because why not? <laughs> Seems good. It's fine to sleep before <clears> any, <throat> real, uh, any real like, juicy stuff kicks off. Then I'll activate uh, yes. tiny mm -hmm. numbers, I suppose. I'll just run. So, thanks for joining us. Uh, like I said, yeah, we're a little bit late off the, the start. Uh, I had a, a broadband an ISP change today that was meant to be at least same seamless. <laughs> that was what I was sold to me as. I think it was it was down by about <laughs> seven or eight this morning, and then back up about twenty past seven, maybe. I had to like reconfigure everything and and get my kids to sleep. So um, so yeah, you joined us. I said to the last game of the uh, the sexy Flanders versus South Africa Tukalashi in the the virtual team championships. Um, so. Uh, sexy, um, sexy finders have already won the round. The uh, so this is just playing for, fun of playing the game uh, that we love. He's an eight-inch trader, right? Hi, Davey. Yeah, <laughs> yeah this, this is played played just for fun, which is good. Um, Nothing wrong with that at all. Um, so down the bottom we have Jan uh, from the South African team. Um, so he's going Dreamer. He's picked the Observatory objective and it's uh, it's yeah, Arcana of choice of choice. Uh, all four down, which he has to take. It's Dreamer's Trump Arcana and then Sacrifice and Ruin. Uh, so the healing and the uh, spell cancelling well, uh, arcana choice. And up the top, uh, Tim's playing Bane Witch Agathea uh, with Dugout. So the no, uh, basically no, no Witchwood places or artifice, uh, an artifice or uh, abyssal. So everything. Join to the Belgian. I wish I could join you. I, I I'd registered for the Belgian Masters, and um, yeah, my life, my life uh, changed. Significantly before Christmas, uh, so I'm now uh, me and uh, two little ones. Uh, the babysitting is, is is a premium, and uh, yeah, I don't think I can. Uh, I think there's anyone really I can uh, offload a three to five year old onto, so I can come to Belgium. That's next month, though, right? Um, end of March. Is that the same as the, the death outcome? Looks like it's, it's super good to see like the the international cons are uh, all back, starting to come back back to the field, which is really nice. And then, now come the hard parts. Fine. Find these lists and, and I'll uh, throw them at you. This little fellow will... Um... So Tim's lists. Uh, so his off list was uh, Gatsby 3 in Black Industries. Is that a good one? But here is uh, what, we've, what we've got on the table. Is that a little fellow going? Actually, it's not, not long at all. I don't know what to do. That's like two weeks away. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. Here we go. So this is this is Tim. What's Tim playing at the top um, is um, Bane Witch Anxia, who's not like super often seen. Do you have any sort uh, of corpse Baratherum, who is a beast. Um, uh, and then yes. Death Ripper for the Ark Node, mm -hmm. Desecrator, and uh, Blood Precessor's Detachment. Uh, Dara Wraith and Misery and Cage, a Swamp Goblin River Raider, best, the best one point solo in the game. Um, Gas before that's Asphyxius the Sanctified with two Toros. Um, uh, he's got m he's got three lots of counter charging between them and Brotherham, and then a maximum unit of Bane Knights with the officer. Um, so the Bane Knights, the officer gives them the, the Serpent Strike. So when they use the mini feet, basically they hit you when you come into them. Uh, and then a unit of Black Ogren, uh, Ogren Ironmongers, the Dirge Seers who are premium support, <laughs> and then. Princess Dolores. So Dolores gets the, to go into the list because uh, there's Toros. So as long as you've brought something that's Ordic, which Toros are, uh, you can uh, you can slot in um, Princess and her ridiculous gun package. Quite frankly, so, be interesting to see how that looks. Um, Dr. Master Council, hello, thanks for joining us. And, uh, I'm a little bit late off the mark. Just gonna um, scoot around, and I've got like oh my god, there are so many windows open. And I'm going to scrub. Hopefully, Jan's 
Sensible. Uh, on the, the tiebreak link. Make sure this is it. This isn't. I apologize, but yes, yeah, this is it. So yeah. So Jan is playing uh, the Dreamer at the bottom, as I said. Um, Awful Down, Ruin, and Sacrifice are the Arcana choices. Um, so his his list is pretty, pretty standard in what sort of the Dreamers have yeah. merged, morphed into these days. Um, so a Dreamer, two Skin and Bones, two Clock Trisses, a Cage Rager, one Krabbit. I think you only need one Cage Rager, um, obviously because you can fairly reliably as the game goes on make an arc node out of one of your dead opponent's models uh death knell carry on a rose food fire archons two witchwoods and three gremlin swarms that's obviously in dark menagerie so the gremlin swarms have serenity and uh everything starts with a corpse that, that needs to apart from uh, any, any any non-troopers so like uh, i think yeah bedrocks don't start with corpses everyone else starts with corpses which means like the trees are like pretty beefy, just even just going in from the the very start. Um, I think that's it. Good. I really need to slightly adjust my filters. Didn't help, right? I've been I was I've been setting up all sorts of uh, all sorts of streams, screens, so I can uh, switch between five different games weekend if I have. The opportunity and Here how it works it'll go i've got the, the technology working yeah, whether or not the time will work is the question i'd love i'd love to be able to do it now. but let's see see we can get off the hand side kind of just stay the fuck away from everything <laughs> and then i've activated Thing, I believe. So I'll pause and do it back to you. Cool bananas. Um, you can yeah. start when you're good. Let's start. Yep. No, that's all right. We need to go on. Uh, right. So this bug is off. This bug is off. Uh, this. Don't think we're going to need any more. Uh, so she will drag. Uh, we'll. Here we go. It looks like we are. Gremlins or actually the up to and speed. The there you go, so Jan's literally using uh, the, the rule we just talked about. The uh, faster this way. rabbits have been, uh, the crabs, sorry, the gremlin swarms have been uh, granted. Nice, nice little uh, fury support. Uh, right. you. That's it for effects, I think. Seems good. Phone. Oh, God. Yeah. Too many phones. One of these has war room. Oh, and she upkeeps. One of them has his YouTube. <laughs> um, yeah, so we're going to see how this how this looks. Um, obviously, there's a, a bunch of veins here. Um, Comes on in. Mortal fear is up from um, Dara. Who would have guessed? I'm assuming the defensive strike thing is to mark yeah the, uh, the banes so the clocks will be able to basically just line up a number uh, right, of sprays so and potentially take fear, what's the a good chunk of things um there are 16 base they have one of steel and then mortal fear would make it 20. 20. i think jan might be forgetting that clock chisses are not living models uh, they don't so... have to worry about mortal fear but <laughs> He's probably, he, he did say he might be a few whiskeys in by now. So, how far can he charge? But yeah, well, he's, okay, he's, he's calculating for other things. But uh, yeah, so, so thanks for joining us if you haven't. Uh, yeah, Pathfinder anime. But he said. He does, but if I. Echoes is working. There we go. Everything is working. Yeah, you can go that Finally, after some, speed. Got some Everyone, to everyone was saying he might, he might have joined me too. Um, first. To help commentate as, as I was finishing getting my kids to bed, he had to go yeah, into his. Five. No, sorry, uh, 12, right? <laughs> well, it's... no, they also have henchmen making it 14, and they have set defense. Ooh, okay. So, so death 14, because they're the henchmen unit. Right. Then so plus two if you're charging them because they're set defense. The observatory's going to give uh, the fancy eyesight to the cage ranger just in case it comes up. 
Mm -hmm. Be really interesting to see how how this goes. Like th those banes are literally there to stop him from getting to you know, the toros and well, basically all, all the, the big line of heavies that are behind everything. Um, like Gatsby's quite far back. Uh, looks pretty pretty damn safe where he is. Um, very much going to be a turn of how much can Yan remove without just instigating them smashed off the table. Um, be surprised if oh, let's have a quick let's have a quick corpse check. How uh, how beefy the dinner are doing? Got one corpse on the left one, on the right one. So did not hand out any corpses on the first turn. Or we might have handed corpses to a tree. I mean, these guys are in a line, so effectively, if I just kill that one guy, I can drag him. Yeah. Oh. I think you yeah, always I can see basically it. bump something because this angle has to go like Press that. Them, so yeah. And then uh, I wonder if the so, so some somebody's going to be a little bit. Wonder if the death knell exactly didn't actually uh, hand out a corpse on like on Yan's first turn. Basically, just a red one. Yeah, that's a bit better. So yeah, so so uh, matchup wise, obviously. Um, the, the heavies compared to the Grimkin heavies, well, everyone's going to be hitting them pretty hard. Um, Apart from the mercenaries. Jan's got the the bonus of the clocks going to be able to stutter away once they've had a bit of a, a kick in. Um, he's got a sacrifice to hang behind, so. Might have to. Yeah. Uh, the tree. No, that can't be right. So the tree's in a good spot. <laughs> no, if it can. <laughs> if it can clear up some some options, um, yeah, there, there's a lot of drag options once he gets things out of the way. Okay, so um, Dagout, I'm assuming, is on. He can charge there and spray him. Uh, and then we're looking good. Okay. You're on Barathra? Maybe on no one. Maybe I know one because they've so just run out. I reckon number one is a little bit more forward. So if we, if we drag him that away, Never. that'd be okay. A Let's have a little look at uh, Bane Witch Agatha here, because yeah, I think I've probably only seen her on the table once. Cannot lie. Yeah, okay, so, so uh, obviously she's a, a Bane, the witch. Um, got a pretty, like, lackluster well, defensive stats, 15-15. Um, like, 16 boxes. Don't focus. She apparates herself, and she's got Death Shroud. Uh, and is ghostly. And the, this 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 is where it starts to kick in. Then is she chooses a small unit, of, a small base unit of banes. Got these knights. They become uh, henchmen, same size as Zelokets. They have plus two death and mat, and they get apparitions. They get a threat extender and death and mat, which means that, like I said, twelve uh, base up to fourteen with henchmen, up to sixteen if you're charging them. Um, and they've got uh, obviously the serpents, serpent sting, whatever it is, the the many feet. So if you end up in melee with them, they'll hit you. And obviously they're plus two mat. Um, they're not going to do like tons of damage to like loaded skin and bones, but the wrong place. they'll do some work at least. <laughs> um, and then got Ghost Walk, Hellfire, Hull Rort, which is a plus two arm and retaliatory strike. No, no, retaliation is, it, oh, it's basically, it's basically vengeance. Um, it's damaged. <laughs> And she's got <laughs> Parasite and Vanish. So like some good work. And then her feet is um, friendly faction models in her control range are affected by Ghost Walk and also gain stealth. Um, and then when a model in a battle group ends its activation, completely place the model anywhere completely within three inches. So, really, really funky like abilities. Nothing like super strong. There's no like swinging like um, of, of crazy like hitting power. Um, I think we'll just a bit more uh, finesse. Make the other boy a bit strong. I'm sure, that's what that fan is like. So let's do this. Um, want to see like cool. right finesse casters? They want to just like just have a have a brutal car show down your throat and hope you can't choose with the metal. Really well. A bit more. That's, that's the answer. Solid plan. <laughs> so um, time wise, um, okay, right. so, on uh, fifty seven minutes as he's gonna starting gonna actually uh, to take. Take the first activations of the turn. 
he had to go. Uh, You're watching. Where do you? Where do you? Where do you lie? So, uh, she's gonna is Tim taking it for uh, the clean sweep for the, the Flanders? Was uh, Jan gonna like? No. Yeah, be the saving grace of South Africa. Because your shit's fancy, yo. Uh, right, manifest destiny. We've got. Up. He was going manifest uh, destiny, so I think to be hidden three. more accurately, harder. Um, no, down to four. And not gone. He's not used. Yeah, um, she's going to use the page rager's animus on the clock. She's not used mm -hmm. uh, wraith walker, so she's not becoming yeah, corporeal, yeah. and uh, she's. You can add Wraithbane onto the clock just on the left. Wraithbane it is. Not sure uh, why it's right. ignoring with oh, God, with so that. Wraithbane, uh, I guess. I guess uh, Hellrot, you know, the, the armor buff on um, Brotham. Uh, so the, the left hand guy of the triangle. Mm -hmm. Wee, look at him go. Uh, skinny Moon is going to take some defensive strikes because I can. Into a position where a load of them can hit it. Uh, 90. 90. 90. Okay. Um, so I have five of them in range. I'll roll and see what happens. I'm up eight your defense. 13, I want to say. 13, yep. Yeah. So the first one using. Yeah, I, I don't see the South Africans um, put, a, put a team for, uh, yeah, for, 12, for the WCC. 97. Obviously, we've got two of them uh, over here in the UK. So Jan and, Jan and Evan are both there. Uh, one in the five. London area, uh, but um, fourth one, yeah, they're, they're, yeah, there's definitely there's yeah. definitely a call for it. There are a uh, bunch of fantastic yeah. players. They're really fun. Okay. So yeah, I definitely, so definitely like to see them in Belgium. Defense sixteen. Correct. Uh, that's many. Uh, we'll just roll it though. Check this out. Uh, that is a sixteen. Uh, so box him. <laughs> sure. Okay, so Jan's just cool. just relying on being able to roll uh, dice yeah. like a, a boss. Sorry, am I RFP or not? Um, yes, yes, you are. If I if I grab a corpse, um, so he, he, so he hits the charge attack so, uh, and kills one. Two. He mm -hmm. goes up as the corpses. That's a hit. <laughs> okay, right. So yeah, you don't need to boost dice uh, and the manifest destiny if you just roll uh, well. Third attack. <laughs> Defense sixteen. Sixteen is only on the charge attack, and then fourteen number against the rest. Two, number seven. Who's gonna eat? Uh, a good chunk of these guys. 13, misses by one. Yeah. Uh, sorry, sorry, that was a buy. So, buy another one on him. Hits him. And eats him. Which goes to the corpse cart. And finally, uh, we'll buy another one on, let's say. Oh, how much one. he clears. It's worth. Like. I'm guessing the uh, yeah. the bottom rung things like the skin the skin bones basically can just load themselves up on these banes. Yep. At which point the locks can go forward, do some damage, right. maybe uh, time lock done. and be just annoying along with the Archon. Well the Archons probably want to go first to stick down. Do the damage with a cheeky hellfire and then stick down desecration to, to put all of the uh, all the rough terrain. Just to mean that Agatha's gotta uh, either cast or feet to uh, Yes, the through. Five, night. That'll be a hit. Uh, this is power fourteen, Where and that. The Belgian listeners, yeah, Davy, Davy in the chat is saying, if you're watching or if you're this back on YouTube, watch us live, and you're a Belgian player, get your WTC applications in. Like, Blankenberge is calling. It's like if you if you've if you've been playing the game for ages, if you've been there before, it's like a really lovely venue, such a good atmosphere. If you haven't been before. Yeah, it's yeah, like a lovely little uh, coastal town. Okay. Uh, You'll get crazies so, from all over the world. I'm going to want to play games with you and important. take your top off you. Oh, okay. Like, so it's not, it's not definitely it not, not um, the thing to miss. That was a mistake. Um, we haven't announced, so case, but I am, I am coming. <laughs> we haven't announced the teams, but we have uh, two teams for right. Wales. I am right. one of the teams, so uh, I'm going, going to Blankenberg. October, have we have team names that are, that are gonna just look oh the art should is gonna, as soon as I find someone to do the art it's gonna look sweet the concept is like ah oh, spot on full on 
full on Celtic craziness. Um, but uh, yeah, I think it'll be uh, another. It would be super good, right? After after so long of not having these events, I feel like this is going to be an epic comeback for the WCC. Good. Do you know? Uh, um, do you know if the the solo masters is going to happen alongside it, or is it just going to be the main event this year? The, the likelihood, or is it still in discussion? Obviously, if if, uh, if you if you guys haven't made a decision, if it's uh, not in public yet, then feel free to tell me to stick my nose out. <laughs> like, I, I know, I know, I know. There's a, a good amount of the the British crowd. Um, like there's, there's players certainly all over the country who are we're debating whether or not they can make it for the Solar Masters if it opens up as well, which is which is a great experience too, right? You get to see, you get to see everyone, you get to to watch the teams. In fewer highs and the lows, and you get to play against basically everyone that's gone long to, to support yeah. them, yeah. reserves, stuff like that. Yeah, so. yeah, no worries. There's a there's a bunch wrong with this plan still. Don't you? Worry. <laughs> the <ants. laughs> currently just seeing how deep this clock's going to end up going. Alternatively, just try and get two inches away. It's spraying like that. That makes me sad. We can do three strikes just to take a spray. I know, right? It's sad. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. I just really want to drag a dude, you know? It's not often I get to these days. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm desperate to have a Witchwood drag someone. Okay, alternatively. Um, Witchwoods, if you haven't played against them, um, like the Witchwoods, I think, are just as just as big an impact as the Final Darkons had when they came in. Um, they went from being never seen on the table ever into like every. DM list for sure. Yeah, no. If not, yeah, no, you will. if not every list, full stop. They're so good. Um, because they they they're beefy. They're like um, yeah, armor seventeen. Yeah, they can have corpse. They're the same corpse mechanics, very much similar as the scare bones. So they can easily be like an armor twenty <laughs> three, with uh with you know, which is obviously a bit a bit hard to crack. You know, you can't just crack it by accident. Um, and obviously, Rimkin have got a sacrifice, so if you're not doing it in the right order, or if you slip up, then whatever damage you have done, it is all uh, delicious, delicious built back up. Uh, right. So, um, <laughs> now, we can charge this guy. Need to go more than three. So he's you know, just setting up the, the second, or the first of the clock, so the other one isn't there yet, the other one left. Or this one. Two inch melee. The plan that this guy in the middle is going to go in and he's going in at one of the veins get a spray um like where he's going to be is kind of charge potential from everything probably i kind of assume at this point things are going to start kind of charging just to get closer both skin have gone so if Baratham and the Toros yep. want to counter charge just to get up the table. Right, so Nothing's going to threaten them, really. So got counter charge. Can you charge through your banes? Did you say? I can. Oh, oh, oh here we the go. Toros as well. The, the spiciness. Yeah. Hmm, that's fancy. Oh, hello. Fancy indeed. Uh, oh, thanks, Davey. Is that uh, an announcement? Spot there. I suppose you do. <laughs> Let me just uh, send you away. If you want to participate in the Solo Masters, just some quick information. Solo Masters will be collected here as soon as things be decided. I'll just keep an eye on the page. So just keep an eye on the page on the WC page, and you'll find out exactly what's going on. Um, yeah, you're there. That's really cool to hear, though. Yeah, I'll, I'll share that somewhere. I'll put that out. I know there's uh, there's people are asking, and, and we've got reserves. Like um, when we when when Wales started, we started like the selection process, and, like, taking the teams in. Oh, the princess. Um, Very cool. I know, like, you wondered, we'd have just the one team, and then, yeah, a couple of steamrolls happened. Suddenly, we had enough for two teams and reserves. So we we're like, ah, oh, people, people definitely want to be back. So, um, so Tim was just uh, explaining as well. But yeah, the. The, the, uh, the multiple uh, yeah, counter charging spell, obviously, so, uh, heavies so can come through the veins. Like, uh, zaps him off the table. Pretty rough. 
will cause the desecration. Stick it over here. Is that rough terrain as well? It's rough terrain as well, yeah. Rude. <laughs> the the desecration goes down, so this is rough terrain yeah, and minus two to any attack rolls if you're in it. Bravely. But you see that uh, there's a Toro that's got right. very far up there already. My clock is um, going to go that way. So and now right. you, you do that. your thing. You do your thing, man. So <laughs> you uh, uh, stupid rough terrain. Who came up with that? <laughs> some some crazy bullshit guy. This is Tim's turn three. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. Why did you build this Bay Knight? Um, because the world is random. <laughs> Good one. Jan, Jan just like explaining his his list or his uh, uh yeah, there's just his like method is his method. Take some defensive strikes because why not? Um, my number eight hits uh, armor twenty. Uh, 20 still, yep. Nope, uh, second, uh, yes. These guys may as well be swinging in case they do like some damage. Yes. And they, they're all the wrong way around. It's a really good yeah, okay. dice rolls so if they weren't, uh, uh, we will they were the damage rolls. The desecration basically means that Toro can't get, uh, so like, get far enough because the, it is rough terrain. Uh, need a eight, that's a hit. It's and on the servitor, I'm going to boost just because otherwise this looks rather silly. Oops, he's, he's giving you some focus somehow. Right. He's just getting rid of these guys. Yeah, so it's one for Charlie, so he's got one for that. potential uh, so pull. So servitor, that is a 12. I'm guessing that's he wants to pull and just hope that a cage <laughs> uh, so rager can servitor, smash uh, that's a 15 altogether. whichever heavy nine, comes through. Uh, I get a 18 altogether. Like, calm. Uh, that he's just delivered... A Toro uh, to Dreamer, uh, basically. Yeah, Dreamer's on what, three camp, though? I know, Dreamer's on one camp. Okay, yeah, Dreamer's pretty scared. I'd be pretty scared if I was Dreamer right now. Um, it's heavy hitters, the heaviest hitters are all, are all activated. So, whatever triggers counter charging or whatever gets pulled in and doesn't get killed, you're like, scary. I'm scary. I've got another desecration to put down. So another chunk of, of rough terrain, at least, to, to slow things down. But as we said, it could just play out ghostly. He, he, can feed, he can cast it however he, however he wants. He can ignore the rough terrain. You can turn him into a little dude. Actually, no. We want to turn somebody else into a little dude. Uh, so you can get a soul from that, if you like. Uh, we'll buy an attack. How would I get a soul from a skeleton? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> These things. You, you're the guy who knows skeletons. I just work here. Uh, he misses by a bit. Uh, right, so that's him done. Right, the tree, finally. Can go to over here. What's the tree? No. Is the tree just gonna? Is the tree just gonna trigger counter charge? Shoot him. <laughs> okay, maybe not. The tree, the tree, um, yeah, it's basically same, same sort of um, thing as the. Uh, you don't have any shield guards. The uh, Gallus Grove. Yep. Uh, it pulls. Oh, two sides now. Ports uh, five. Sorry, the tree should have it. Um, oh. Sorry, I didn't. Ports five, and then it's got uh, an eight inch. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Okay. Yeah. Um, you don't have any shield guards, did you say? Uh, no, I do not. Okay, so. so who is he gonna pull in? That's the front Toro. Yeah. Uh, we'll try and zap. So yeah, if I go there, I can zap number one Toro. Right, he's dragging uh, the Toro in, so... Yeah, that, that looks good, sure. So the Toros, uh, now so the witch will drag him in, uh, so uh, gets is, one attack yeah, only. So needs a four, I imagine. Yep, so drags him in. Um, okay. The good thing with the witch ones as well is they've got Black Penny, they've got Hunter, so they ignore an awful lot of stuff. Um, uh, and as part of the drag, they get then an attack. Because we're cool like this, it's pal 15. Uh, so, Jesus, plus five You're damage living. to the six. You're living, right? Uh, he is living, yes. So, yes. less. I don't think damage. the tree is living. <laughs> Three damage instead. Uh, right. So, uh, one, one of the things with, just, just so people know, uh, one of the, the, the rulings is uh, if, if we're spawning stuff on stream, 
It doesn't matter. Angry. Um, it's just like for ease, I think. Um, yeah, so uh, if, if we notice something that's gone wrong, it's only if the players are calling for a judge. Okay. It's only sort of way it happens. Um, which is fair. Like, obviously, it's their, their responsibility to know their rules. Uh, but yeah, the tree is no longer living. Um, which I think is basically like a, a slight nerf yet. Uh, where it's where it's got that off um the the gallows grove being not a tree so it can't be summoned by the well. Right, so it takes a swing on the toro. Uh it hits got a cage rager who obviously is gonna just got his two initials you can buy. Um, got um manifest destiny up. So it's gonna be hitting pretty hard. I'm gonna roll it with manifest. Check this out. Has he got enough to to smash him completely? Uh, we'll do the second attack. Not with dice rolls like that, is the answer. And um, we'll do... A lot better. Six damage to a three. Fine attack. It's a lot better. It's only just over average. It's seven, right? And uh, do five nine. damage to the one. Fine attack. We'll hit and do... Oh, boy. Three damage. So That's three. Damage. That's three damage, right? Yep. So the Taurus on nine. Uh, anything out yet? Nope. <laughs> yeah, so uh, quickly not. Um, I've got a huge amount of boxes left, but he hasn't lost anything this. important. Great. And we're by an attack. Ooh. It's going well. We'll hit and we'll do... There we go. Eight damage to the four. So he leaves him on a box. He's still alive, though. Still leaves him alive. on a box. He's got his um, remaining. Or movement, is that it? The gremlin, the gremlin should be obviously just going and kill him. Um, so, man of the match. So, <laughs> check this little guy out. Okay, right. So he's, he's going to go with. Walked over here. <laughs> I thought that he, I thought he'd just go in with the gremlin and go and do um. Himself. Whatever it is, like just, just does D three damage. Oh, sorry. I mean, he's got enough movement to go around. I'm just, I'm just playing loose and fast is what I'm doing. Uh, <laughs> so he's going to walk on up to over here, pay one, jump. Uh, Let's just check yeah. this. Yes, yeah, so the Gremlin Swarm can just walk six inches uh, and then just sabotage and do D3 plus three damage to the Toro to definitely kill it. Uh, yeah, six inches, so I, I assume he's got enough room to go there. Right, so um, take a swing not, back. We'll not he hopes a Krabbit can kill it. Uh, this is. Perhaps like power eight, eight, I think. So effectively, power six, your armor 20 in the back. So no, 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 18. 18. If you, if you oh, count okay. to be six, then I'm 18. Okay, well, then I need to it's roll... Four dice. A... Dice off ten. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So <laughs> let me just roll this there. Uh, that is... Okay. One point. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> exactly. No, no, it's, it's off 12, right? If you're six and I'm 18. Uh, no, so... Sorry, let's just double-check this. Do, do, do. I'm pretty just checking their mass. The crab is at power eight. Um, Mortal fear is up, so it's effectively. Is this what it comes down to? Effectively a six. Eight, right. So effectively down to power six, and yeah, you are an eight. arm eighteen in the butt. Yes. So it's dice uh, off twelve. The dice off twelve, and that is not enough, is it? So no damage <laughs> from the crab. Wow, well, that's embarrassing. Um, okay. Next up, we'll run this guy. Ugh, it's got a boxing move. It's not really going to do anything. But... <laughs> like I said, you know, it could, could have been worse. Obviously, the cage raider missed an attack. Um, let's say this guy. Nope, also can't. Oh, of course, we can just do this guy. No counter charges there. Um, you want this to be guy. the cage raider, right? Uh, yes, yes, please. So, just a little bit over. Thank you. So, just scooting into base to base. So, uh, if the Gremlin Swarm is still there when you activate, it's roll E3, and you lose either minus two to attack rolls, minus two to damage rolls, or minus two to movement, um, which is nice. And you can always park another Gremlin on the other side if you really want. Um, um, and then finally, the Corpse Cart is going to walk on up. Why is the Corpse Cart not charging? And two corpses to the Cage Rager. Like, got room to That's charge. He's got a finisher. So could, have, clock. could have maybe done the. Oh yes, of course. Sorry. Yeah, <laughs> you're totally right. Thank you. 
uh, let's maybe do that. Uh, so let's give, give him the corpses. Good times. Um, yeah, let's have a go. Seems having a go, eh? Having a go, mate. I've been living in London for too long. Can you tell? <laughs> <laughs> having a fucking giggle. <laughs> oh, well, uh, right, so there's one to charge. Because I think that's a free strike from number six. Oh. Could be. Pretty sure. sure. Unless you say no. No, go for it. Okay. I don't think uh, so. that's a free strike there. So you have basically, and I'm about 12, but you are in melee with the bot, so about 14. Yep. Are you going to the cards? Um, let's see. So he's currently got three corpses on him, which means that it's for a seven. So, uh, yeah. no. So you're an 18. So he's armor 18. That's a four. That's a four. Ooh, oh, 11 God. damage to six. <laughs> so doesn't break. Really doesn't break anything. You make me want to cry. <laughs> um, so how much is that? Uh, 11 to the six. Oh, I can't believe that. It can't break anything because it's to a six. Okay. Um, well, yeah, we're, we're okay. <laughs> Okay. But All it's right, uh, so, it's free uh, damage, it's isn't it? So. Him, uh, hits him and the guy behind him, whatever he is, hits a 13. There's an iron manga and Barathrum being hit. Uh, takes a 19 altogether and Barathrum um, uh, is arm, is effectively arm 18, so off 6 takes 1 point. Uh, you six. are? Oh yeah, yeah, 18, yeah. Yep. 1 point to the 6, yeah. Yep. And that well, iron manga, I suppose, takes a tough check. Uh, no, he took four damage. Okay, uh, right. So the, we'll do a tail on Barathrum, uh, yep. not boosting because we're. This is the like this that. is the charge tank. That's a hit, thank God. Uh, so this is power fourteen. So off four. Uh, no, because you are in death shroud, so I'm effectively twenty again. Uh, isn't that only alive? Oh, right. Uh, that's the fear is death shroud. Okay. Okay, you're right. Uh, so off six effectively is what we're saying. Yes. Right, I'll take that. Uh, so that's damage. 10 damage. 10 to the 4. To the four. A good start with the charge attack. That hurts. Uh, yeah, we'll do a yeah. claw on him. Don't worry, you'll fix it soon enough. The claw misses. The second claw <laughs> hits. Uh, we'll boost damage. This is dice <laughs> of 7. Yeah. Uh, so take 11, take 4 damage to the 5. We'll buy a tail for what it's worth. Which oh, misses. That's not very nice. Right. And that is me. I'm so Bratham's like... lost his cortex. Um, so that that was that was pretty good then. Um, we need to score, but nobody does. But uh, no, nobody he's got some, he's got some repairing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Uh, this is uh, turn <laughs> turn three. <laughs> no, you'll find that that quite often happens when you're playing against me. That stuff doesn't make any sense. <laughs> yes. So Tim's turn three. Um, <laughs> the rum is sadly gone. Oh. Jan's uh, um, you his, my uh, armor, but I still get the vengeance attack. Not making sense. Sure. Right. Um, yeah, but you never will. If you ever played against Jan, it's uh, an absolute laugh to play with. I think I think I think every one of the South Africans I've ever played with has been like really, really fun, uh, yeah, entertaining uh, to, to play with, this. chat with. Uh, which will barely hit on mod 8. Um, I'm an effectively 19 because of Dark Shrouds, so sure. it's Dark plus 1. Mm -hmm. The whole 3 damage to your 6. six. Okay. 6 is mine now, so you can go away now. Yes, there we go. that is ideal, isn't it, for you? Um, wow, that, that really didn't go very well. Um, so Jan's lose, lost his mind, he gets a stutter. Which is really bad because you only get to stutter the once now. Yeah, we'll go this way. Actually, so, I suppose. Basically, the best he can do oh. is just stutter into an annoying yeah. position where he's got oh. to think about yeah, where he's yeah. placing stuff. That's that, that clock, unless he's something else dies, so... um, and he, yeah, he might as well just bigger sacrifice. Sure. Uh, is uh, back to you. Easy killing now. Um, so that was maintenance. Power ups happen. Things a little bit, but we've got gremlins in each of these, um, these zones. That's it. Be you difficult be for um, cortexes, not impossible, but difficult to be scoring. That's be the button there. Then 
Thing like, and, um, if what's the if maybe um, the uh, Toro yeah. was dead, completely dead and real, mm. right? Too much. Rathalem had taken a little bit more damage. I'd feel a he's lot better. But, um, yeah, he's he's got basically Cortex being down is is a is a, a real bad thing for for Tim. But he's still got you know a lot of hidden power still to um, if pile I in. Base to base with your gremlin, you get to do a random effect, right? I get to do a funny thing. Yep. A funny thing he says. Um, <laughs> I'm going to allocate to the Toro. Toro's getting some. Um, might as well allocate. I see the death gray is going to get some. Sure, why not? Death gray is on um, Agathea. Toros are both on uh, Gatsby. Means they've got Dark Shroud. Yeah. Um, so one off for Gathia. I still get the upkeep power. A good, good bit of punch in uh, in them. Then, 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 then. I don't know if if I'm just of that generation. Uh, anyone watching? Anytime someone says "and then" in a game, all I can think is "is dude with my car." The and then, no, that's and cool. then, cool, cool. but uh, um, maybe it's just showing showing my age, right? How old is that now? That's gotta be a good twenty. Can I activate the crippled Toro and see what happens. Stepping over to you. Yep. Uh, okay. Let's so uh, the Toro starts. Three. Uh, Jan so rolls D three to find two, out what it does. Three, we get a three. Uh, it's my speed, I think. And that is. Minus two to damage rolls. That Minus two to damage rolls, right? Oh no! <laughs> How about you? He's like, he's not really going to so, do a great deal, but I guess he'll swing and do some damage. The tree is armor 21, right? Uh, currently, yes. Um, what he's going to aim for. So he's got just his movement, so he's, he's not going to be rolling. He's run, one die to hit. One dice damage roll with the the buckler and the sword. Uh, he gets the bonus back at least, so he's you know mighty damage from the gremlin swarm is just mitigated the fact that he's in Gatsby's bar group. Does he just put some chip damage in? The gravit is half an inch, I take it. And I'm not gonna hit the observatory. The cage is at point eight at the moment. If he moves if he moves more than point two back, cage rager gets a free strike and just boom. Cage rager is one inch. Oh, one inch. He's basically just gonna stand there and oh, God, try and make himself not completely useless. Or you can just back um, off to with the and let him be free struck so he's out of the way. Okay. Uh, well, it's in the tree. It's, it's about yeah. twenty. Auto hit trees, which is nice. Twenty. Wait, right there. Uh, so off one. Mm -hmm. Will be three damage, and the shield is about uh, fifteen. So off six will do nothing. So uh, did, did three damage, so then, not nothing. Operations, whatever doesn't matter. <laughs> The Bay Knights go will charge the clock. Didn't Jan forget to make to use the second Archon? There's only one Desecration on the no, table. He's a little sad. Yeah, possibly. But you, you always forgot to use the clock as well, the way into Bratham, so... Jan did... did uh, but put the warning out last night that as they've already lost as a team, he'd be, he'd be hitting... Uh, in some nine, some after work happy juice. Hits, so hits, so. That's nine, gotta love it. Uh, then a fourteen. Is the officer number? F oh, so he's in the desecration as well, yeah. So oh, that's true, actually. Yeah. So uh, that is it. yeah, you're right. Um, so then the other guy that'll hit. Uh, yep. Power fourteen in the off back six. aura. Mm -hmm. uh, so it dies off six. Yeah. Will be two damage. Two damage. Two damage. Two six. six. I don't, you don't so, like that 16. Box at 11. That was slightly disappointing. Ever so if you remove the clock, then Baratham just hits this. So, what else do we got? Skin of Moons. Even without focus, it's going to do a um, big chunk of damage. I need to repair Baratham. 
But um, I think all, all Tim needs to remember really is not to trigger sacrifice on this okay. turn. Kill heavies okay. and not trigger sacrifice. <laughs> um, he started it. No, he didn't. He did nothing. <laughs> He wants to be sh make sure that he's not doing stuff like he killing the gremlin swarm in the zone. Or after he's he he started killing. Okay, fine. See, that that so damage on the clock is all going to get wiped out otherwise, or potentially otherwise. Sure. And he's a okay. Hey, look at him go. So Bratham gets a uh, bit of uh, spit and shine from the the Ogrins. Wiggle his cortex back into space. Into space. I think bratham has got like drag below, right? So if he kills a model, or is it just only living models? And he gets to uh, do an advance and a dig in. Quickly check the the wording. Oh. Oh, is it an enemy warrior model? He has to do it. Okay, she so doesn't get to do it if he just kills the clock. Unfortunate. There's nothing really he can trigger it off. It's not like he can go, ah, oh, kill the clock, kill a warrior next to him, and then, then screw up. So, clock is dead. One thing, one more thing dead. So the problem Tim's going to have is not going to be able to really get to Skinnermones with the the really scary thing. Like a Skinnermones is going to be the thing that kills heavies without needing uh, They both know well. But yeah, they're both full. You've got Carry On A Rose and Manifest Destiny. So Skinnermones are going to... It's what um what you get away with really. Um he he goes to the right and looks at taking out the objective and starting scoring. What's the stats on the Kravitz? Sorry? Oh, he's thirteen twelve base. Uh, thirteen gonna be left with a terrific bunch of stuff, being able to just move forward into the rest of his his list and just chewing them apart. Kind of Got a trade at this point. So, try and get there, sub charge, get back to attack, but then you go to 15 defense, and that's a bit much to hope for the impact, and then need to roll high. Is, uh, uh, is Dara looking at coming in himself to get work done? Guess I might as well. Activate asphyxias on this dude. They will get a path forward order. Um, Gatsby looking to go in. Um, with this guy. Will charge. On the Gatsby get in order. to do the skin yep. and That wouldn't be bad. And I can charge there without getting fucked. <laughs> and this one's to get there then. They can. Uh, so charge the Kravit, I guess. This is uh, the Gatsby uh, bots going in first. Number two will charge the clock. So a lot of this is going to be bodies in a way. Rather than just a uh, little amount of damage. Um, as fix as goes. Gatsby's going to sit outside the zone. Nine, right? Uh, ten. Uh, with no way to let him see through the clouds. Nope. No, we're a bit far away from... Mirage on him. Well, actually, there should be fine. And then I can just leave the other guy in the zone. Sounds good. Then we've got Mirage. Uh, charge attacks, the number one on the Kravitz. At Yan. Okay. Founding me uh, by not this, having a mirage on the skin. Number of two on the clock. Um, I'm a mod three, so it's actually one uh, damage. Yeah, yeah man. You bastard. What? <laughs> Can't believe that. Ah, oh, yeah. So we got a bot on the right. 
uh, to, uh, to stop him from being scored. He's to box in the middle, Gatsby, uh, pretty safe, uh, find the cloud. Uh, obviously you can like trample into it. Um, if he removes enough stuff and tramples through, he's then just buying. Uh, that's D6, even better. Hey, check those guys. Let's see, uh, see what Tim can make out the rest of the turn. So it looks like he was sort of planning on putting the Desecrator in. I'm not sure if he's going to. Um, taking a clock. Um, Horu is still there, which means you've got to put something into this Horu to get it out of the way. Um, as yeah, so in Yan has to get Horu out, out of the way before he quickly moves. Um, can just quite easily do it though. Like the Archon oh, probably just what? find uh, it and blow it. Did two less damage to the Witchwood, sorry, because he, he is at minus two damage <laughs> from the the Grim. Oh, right, right, my bad. Sorry. <laughs> no worries. No, I forgot to. Um, um, pretty sure the Desecrator can handle it, and there's nothing else for him. To yeah, do. he's he's probably got a chance. So it's, it's how much how much Tim puts in now is is going to be the question. So if he puts all of his if he puts the horror and the desk creator in, do they do enough? As soon as he damages Octress enough, it's going to just stutter backwards, um, basically in between two skin and bones, and out of range or anything else to kill it. Tim's kind of risk, at risk of putting the Toro and the Desk Crater, the, the healthy Toro and the Desk Crater, and already Brathram in range of all of these heavies. Um, oh, uh, Evan explained to me that because I am just a tree, that's the reason why I don't get a corpse. <laughs> oh, okay. So I've taken one off the wagon. Cool. Um... What do we think? How do we think this is going to go? So I think Tim needs to be careful that he holds enough back. Hey, welcome to my life. Um, <laughs> that Evan can't just free up. Like you use, use an activation life, or two to free up basically the skin of Owens uh, and potentially the uh, cage rager and just eat all the remaining heavies to death if they're not close enough. Then the only thing really he has to worry about, Jan has to worry about at that point, is um, is Gatsby. Um, Okay. So he charges the Clockatress. Uh, Clockatress is effectively, nine, effectively death seven, 15. Desecration, so I need a 6. Yep. So this is the charge attack. Or the sword, of course. Um, then I will take the shield on the same guy. Mm -hmm. Four hits. Uh, that's I effective power 17. Might not be able to get quite out of uh, range okay. with that, which we are. 3. Will be two damage to two, two to the two. Yeah, uh, how the swords? How we fair? Oh, I think I'm lagging. Uh, yeah, nothing's nothing's happened yet. I'll just tell the clock a moment because I can't do anything. Um, <laughs> there might be an issue. Oh, Waiting uh, while while Tim lag just uh, acts up. Um, it's a power twenty two, so that's plus two. Mm -hmm. be nine, nine to the one. To the one. Uh, stutters me, switch it over to me. Uh, we'll just go over here. He's got enough to just stutter, just out of combat. At which point, yep. there's not really um, and then anything. Oh, did, did Princess go already? I guess he's got like some, some spells that can rabbit. maybe do a little bit more damage, but do they enough to worry the, the Clockatrice? Uh, Will hit because I also this, is, this is kind of what I was talking about. Is um, at this um, point, and that's about 22. If the so desk creator comes in, uh, dice plus eight, then he's got all, kill him. all uh, three, yeah, kill him amazingly. Yeah, the heavies that aren't on, on radio yeah. or death door or within oh, range to be walked into, and uh, and <laughs> and Jan's battle group to go and to town on them. No um, really he's he's a scary going. position to be in because as soon as those um, heavies are down. Princess and Gatsby's not going to be able to kill everything. Form, but it's engaged into a 17. Uh, can't see it anymore. What do we think? What do we think? Chat. Is, if, is, does, uh, does Tim need to hold back the Desecrator? Uh, the Desecrator charges. No, it's not happening. <laughs> oh, 
He's got blood in his eyes. And it's called Sap from the Witchwood. So, <laughs> mm -hmm. And hey. I've got the charge. I assume I'm going to hit it. I'm going to power. He also hits the tree. Um, it's a tree. Because in, you're in Dice Rise of the Toro. Sure. Dice off two. Uh, so, Dice off two. Yep. So, seven, that's seven damage. Seven. Yep. You've got two remaining. Um, a tree sap in the eyes. And we'll buy it's, that, it's that luscious um, like a siren in, in the middle, right? Evening, Bennett. Thanks for joining us, buddy. So, so Tim has committed hard here, and like that's that's a heavy to take out solo. Um, it's whether or not he can jam up enough to stop the right things from getting to the right order. So, so the problem is the Toro number two, a Toro number one, dead. Like, Final one just doesn't live. Um, yeah, they 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 had a bit of back and forth in the first uh, the first clash in turn two. No arcana have been used. Um, so what we saw is Yan Yan dragged in Toro number one is uh, the one that's just in front of the Death Knight. Left it on one box. Um, What's his armor base? And then. Uh, Tim's killed a cockatrice on the left. Uh, so that's the heavies that have, that have died. But now Brathram's already gone. It's there. Kind of a little bit beaten up. Uh, Toy number two is completely healthy. And obviously, uh, the Desecrate is completely healthy. But we've got two Skinner Moans who are full of corpses. And uh, the Cage Rager. Uh, the and a, a bit of a battered cockatrice um, all there. So she's got to basically do um, some work. How many shots she gets with her secondary guns, which will be okay. four. Um, yeah, no, no Arcana have been popped by uh, by Yan yet, and no feats from uh, from Tim. This is this is uh, Tim with, um, Tim's top of three. So that's the two D three ones on the Gremlin Swarm. No scoring yet, melee, but you're also in shooting but, uh, range. You just be able to see on the, the screen. And we've got a Gremlin Swarm in nine, and you're a seventeen. Gas people. I'm a uh, yep. and a Needing eight chicken eight node. Shots. Nope, second shot. Yes. Uh, got the power 11, so it dies off, off board. three. Uh, so 12 up to 14. What are, what are you? 11, so off three. 11, yeah, off three. You're right. Uh, that okay. Nice. Zaps him. Poor little guy. Oh, okay. So the uh, Gremlin Swarm yeah. can't auto kill there. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but is like, you know, um, no longer in the way uh, for. It's to walk forward, forward and kill two Taurus. I guess. So I'm going to shoot a bazooka at... So the file dark armor is immune to knockdown, right? Uh, yes. This is Dolores going uh, to town with all of the guns. But if you've brought an Audic model to your list and don't have Dolores, look at her card. Think about your life choices. You can see the chicken. Because, uh... <laughs> Yeah, you can see the chicken if you wanted. There's a door in front of me. No, so uh, I suppose because you're a smaller base, maybe. All right, up to you. Mm. You're probably right. No, no, because it's the larger base blocking the. Yeah, yeah. Larger no, you're right. You're right. I'm thinking of a large base blocking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, is trying to give away a shot uh, <laughs> onto, onto the onto the cockatrice. Uh, skin and bones number two with the bazooka. Two, yeah. Okay. Um, I'm allowed to stab him, so that misses. Good job. Good. Yeah, job. boy. So, um, yeah, like like I said, I think this this is the point where Dolores needed to do really good work. She's done a bit, but like the uh, stuff you. Um, um. Then the rest of the stuff that the um that Tim's got basically is has to um a little bit of, of spread of damage. Uh, in fact, if it's not, there's no, there's no damage on these guys. Okay. At least he doesn't have to worry about um, sacrifice being triggered. But, um, certainly worry about putting it there. It's very bold. Um, it's not, not the, not beyond reason to, to think that you can clear out the stuff there and get to, um, I'll activate the, get to the edge of this the... zone. Uh, 
uh, Death Rip's going to look and go and try and get rid of the gremlins. Oh, or rather, park itself so we can. Um, so Agatha can. Agatha can um, arc. Castro goes. Yep. Uh, and kill the corpse from the misery cage. Okay. Get an extra focus, and then I'm going to boost a hellfire at the gremlin swarm. There you go. Uh, does, she the, have, um, does she have other side? Okay. Um, so I'm on three. So Agatha's got Definitely guidance off the, uh, the dirt seers. Yep. Um, kills the uh, poor little guy. Kills the gremlin swarm. If I wait no. to worry about, so that means that. Tim's starting the scoring, and obviously it is denying any scoring on the right until that that gaspy bot moved. Not that uh, that Jan's got anything over there either, but <laughs> but he starts he starts the clock ticking on the on the scenario play. Um, going that far up seems. Was that the dangerous. mini beat for Graziella? Yeah. Like, if you if you were if you were Agatha, where would you be? At? I'd be around here. <laughs> see, see the if you look at the map, I'd be there. That that little line at the top is where your caster should be standing, <laughs> versus this many heavies in front of your army. I would say, um, yeah, I, I wouldn't be going anywhere, anywhere near these guys. Um, you know, he's got Wraith being on tap at the moment. Um, he's got Arc nodes. Um, wouldn't, wouldn't put it in a position where she might be one that is the weakest link. Like as it stands, what I think is going to happen is, or I think what could quite feasibly happen is with a like Cariana could probably walk up and still attack the Clockatrice to kill. Uh, are these guys, all the clock just could just activate first. Kill these bunch of guys, but the skin of move slightly. Um, skin of goes up here. There's one skin of goes up here. Um, Dara and this girl, good Toro. And Cage Rage goes up here, kills the bad Toro and Death Crater. And uh, and it's looking pretty, pretty scary then. Yeah. And, and Dreamer just yeah, sits behind the wood. Um, maybe just camping, maybe going to Ikaporosha. No point going to Ikaporosha, I guess, because you know, it's going to get her is the uh, hellfires. And I think if, if, Jan, if Jan plays this turn out um, in a minute, I think he could take all the heavies off the table. So what we see... Over to you. Right oh, so you're camping three with your caster? Yes. I'll oh, the first back. question is <laughs> yep, you're camping. Cool. Um, so turn three, so this is uh, bottom of three. At the moment? Uh, she's 15 15 base, but mortal fear is up. Uh, yeah, she's she's up always up. And oh, she she gets right. Yeah, there's a lot of bullshit up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's just kill the world. Okay, so we're gonna. All right, so Jan, Jan's just declaring he's gonna kill everything. Uh, no, of the moves. world. So we're take it's, it's what I think I'd expect. Like, on the left. You can go for, you can probably get something onto Agatha, one but like the, the reliable left. option is kill and all the heavies the and have two. you, uh, all of your heavies uh, still alive there, angry. and your Archons, and uh, go, well, there's nothing that can really threaten me anymore. Make sure Dream is safe. That goes away. Crux is make sure Dreamer stays safe. Um, uh, she's got so Ruin. Cage Rager is to pass it on a 5. Ruin and sacrifice. Okay, no, he's angry. He's gonna Stable. turn to face his friend. Poor friend. He's got friends. He's got not friends. anymore. <laughs> um, um. And he will take a swing, which will hit. Uh, it's pal seventeen, so off four. We'll do one damage. No. So Roto. Um. So one to the four. Okay, let's kill freaking Dara. <laughs> okay, so the cage was that the cage rage is frenzied. Definitely with things. Okay, so the desecration buggers off. Uh, let's unpin it. Uh, nothing's on fire. Answer is yes. Any of that sort of so, thing. 
Uh, so Dara's not currently in combat. Uh, he's got. Yeah. Is he a um, dragoon? dragoon. Yeah. Okay, so we got to kill him twice as well. That's irritating. Not sure why the cage ranger didn't. But I reckon we can bring up the Toro that was in melee with. Get out. The frenzy. Um. So I think we'll start with. This I, I missed that. Is that was that what happened? It just frenzied. I need to do anything else. Oh, okay. We need to. Uh, Dreamer is going to go incorporeal this turn. Mm -hmm. The so Dreamer uses Wraith Walker, which you can't turn equal the next turn. She's on seven. Yep. So. Do. Let's do this. Nope, that's a skin. Repair the, uh, the clock, which should auto repair. Um, means its movement is narrow. This guy. I'm not sure what else he would have done right, so it was an attack roll. No. Okay. Is that a once a game thing, or? The cage ranger yeah, definitely yeah. moves, right? He said, "Turn towards his friend." Yeah, we will go over there. Okay. Uh, he'll zap Dara. Uh, we got uh, a uh, left. Seventeen. Uh, yes. So dice of three does four damage to him. Second zap will hit him and do uh three damage to him. That. Is so two hellfires off the uh, arc on the left onto Dara. <laughs> Try and get more fear uh, off the table. Yeah, I'll teleport back to safety. Yeah. Head on up over here. Head up. So Dara's on, on three boxes. Up. Before he... Um... Over here. Stop putting stuff in my zone. I don't see your name on it. My uh, <laughs> Jack and Objective are right there. <laughs> <laughs> bit of contention whether or not he should be putting someone in, uh, in Tim's zone. It's a bit, bit like a rude, right? Um... So the Archon on the right, I assume he's going to try and do the same. Uh, zap him as well. Oh, great. And I can. Yeah. Oh. Good times. So, good. Knew I was going to forget it eventually. Uh, <laughs> so the counter charge basically blocks the line of sight, even if he doesn't uh, kill him. So there's no bullshit up. So I'm a mod 7. Uh, you're a 14? Uh, 13. 13. Needing a 6. Come on, boy. Yeah, he hits the counter charge. How 22? Because he's got Dark Shroud. Uh, why are you 22, sir? 20. Uh, no, I'm 20. Yeah, he's probably 20. He's 80, 80 on the sword. So straight dice. Plus two straight dice. is uh, Dark Shroud. Oh, only 10, 10 nine. points to him. Oh. 10 points. So leave him as alive. live. But he can't. But a black line of sight. So fuck you. He can't zap um, <laughs> Dara. Fair enough. Um, um, if he hits like, any case. of those. Oh, the jacks with how far you can then else. teleport so and then zap. The yeah, but... Desecrator, for what it's worth. Um, she's not just trying to kill yeah, the, the Toro. So the, it. Uh, there's a Toro there. The one box uh, on it just so needs to be removed does, anyway. Does six damage to the one. I guess. Taken. Ugh. This gets awkward. I like it awkward. <laughs> there we can go. There I reckon. Yeah. Okay. Um we will port. Mm -hmm. Teleporting then he gets a second uh, spell. <laughs> that point one. No real reason for it just yet. We'll just head on up over this way because it looks cool. Uh, and we will zap Dara. Hits him. Hits Dara. Of three does six damage. Okay, I'll dismount him. Dismount him. Dismount, thank you. Morphia stays there. Stay on the flag. Like so. Yep. Cool. So you may as well keep him on the flag because um, it's right. Well, so it doesn't really matter where he's going to be over there. He's either going to die or he's not going to die. Nothing scoring anyway. Uh, and if he's not going to die, then he put the forward to do something better next turn. Oh, he's over there, so... At least he's kind of half blocking a, 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 a radio sort of... It's a strong direction. argument. She's going to very bravely walk on up over here. So this is, this is, I think this is a wise Good move. Of Dreamer goes and 
Okay. Licks the kill box. <laughs> uh, she's gonna. Trishy is safe. Manifest Destiny. Okay. And Mirage up on the Skin and Moans right by her. Skin and Moans finally gets Mirage. Oh, yeah. And. Done. Uh. Do camp. The end of this. Um. Manifest Destiny. Mirage. Did leave run two. And, right. and she's incorporeal. Uh, so, so she's, she's looking okay. For this clock to shine. So you've got counter charge. Uh, let's see. Ratham's go got counter charge. And these guys get to me. aren't really going to He's only got one inch worry reach, about Yeah. Out for Ratham. So can you charge through your guys? Uh, not through Dara. Not through Dara. Can you charge this way? No, because I can't go through the box. Okay, so basically if I go there, you can't charge me, yeah? This is correct. Okay. This is what we like to hear. So I'm staying within two inches of that dude. So no three strikes. No, no, that's a box. He only does one damage anyway. Uh, you never know. Oh, sorry, I needed to just heal the clock. Uh, he gets one. Um, so, so Jan, Jan's remembered that he's had to, yeah, the he's clocks have auto repair, which is a, a, man, a mandatory thing. So even if he misses it, um, when it's picked up, he should yeah. make it. There, he'll get to there. Like he's just relying on. Okay, so the, the clock, clock to go in up over here. Okay, Breton. I'll take that free strike. Uh, what free strike? From the box that you flew over. That's what I said. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Damage. Um. Okay, hold on. Sorry, let me. Sorry, I was just checking to see if I was getting free strike or not. <laughs> um, maybe we do it the other way around. These these banes, oh, you notice. Doesn't really work. Um, oh God, see from from this angle are all facing towards Bratham. They they charged the Bruce. back of the clock just that was here. <laughs> What's Dara's defense? Uh, Fourteen. Fourteen. Yeah, we definitely need to boost the hit then. Uh, this is gonna be awkward, but yes, okay. So we're gonna take over this. So we're gonna hammer free strike from the yeah, Gaspy bar. Seven, needing a six, hit them, add your yep. one, hit two, or oh, three. Oh, thank God. There's a point to three, <laughs> doesn't matter. <laughs> Just really embarrassing if, if that happens. Doesn't take the mind uh, out. Uh, you, you need to stop there or take a free strike from the crippled tower as well. The crippled right? tower. Yeah, I mean, I can still hit up over here. Um, still yeah. within his reach. Yeah. Within two inches, yeah? Yes. Yeah, feel that? Yeah. But you were just a bit too far. How do you mean? Now, now you're good. Oh, okay, okay, thanks. Just looking at um. Uh, okay, so we'll do a claw. On the arch, Dara. basically that back toro. Uh, we'll miss. We'll do the second claw on Dara. Uh, we'll miss. We'll do the tail on Dara. <laughs> Come on, buddy. So the, the, the third the initial actually hits Dara. Uh, this is power fourteen. Your armor. Uh, effectively seventeen because we're in death shroud now. Sure. Uh, so this is dice off of three. That's okay. Wow. <laughs> Kills Dara finally. Turn him into so no more fear. A little dude before I forget. And a mouse, mouse pops out. Before I forget. Who was supposed to go to the dragon? Yeah, somewhere over there is fine. He's gonna move still. Uh, right. So that makes it a little bit easier to hit things. So uh, we'll start with the sk uh, the skinny on the right. Oh, on the left, sorry, switches on his animus. Surprise! Oh, okay, all right. I was gonna say, surprise. The clock's not uh, swinging, but it's. Oh, so that's. Oh, it's not buying anyone. Just walk up to Dolores. Uh, so this gonna is just gonna have to animus to get there. Uh, right. So take a swing on Barathrum. Uh, yeah. No. Uh, that is a miss. Good time. This is Barathrum hits. Uh, what's your armor? Uh, twenty-two. Two. So I'm a 19, so dice off three. Yep. A pow does five damage for the one. Divine attack uh, hits a 13. Dice mm -hmm. off three does two damage to the five. Can I just oh. roll slightly? Not, it's not good damage. rolling. Divine <laughs> uh, <laughs> attack, which will hit and. Oh, come on! No damage. And we'll buy an attack. Jesus, this is embarrassing. This is last attack. Um, we'll hit Take him. He's a spike here, and he doesn't, doesn't like that. Three, three damage. 
So just average, just average dice rolls uh, on the six. So Wrath is on eight. Dead, but, um... Got points. movement and cortex. <laughs> but, like I'd be happy with that. Um, yeah, I, 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 I thought that's going to be we're just 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 rip Wrath of apart. Okay. Obviously, he's got uh, repair he's bots got right behind him. It's the vengeance. Ah, not yet. This lovely lady. It's gonna walk on up. Turn three. Gonna go up in rage. Even Turn around. Angry. Do do do. Sure, with how the cage rager. Angry, it's um in rage. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure, the cage rager must have frenzied uh, to be there. Now I'm still in that guy's front. Should have gone the other way around. Um, not much. We'll, we'll find out in a minute. What's the range on Bane Witch Agathia's thing? Oh, it's far. Yeah. It's, just, it's real far. Yeah. Let's. We this way. Nope, because I've now put my lady in the way. Oh god, so your arm 22, or I can take a free strike. You'll be... What What power will your free strike be if I walk? The power 20 free strike. Yeah, free strike. Yeah. He takes it. 20. Yeah, I think we'll do that. So he's going to walk. Oof. So I've just got to stay with out of two inches of the Annihilation Servitor. Oh no, it's an Annihilation Servitor anyway, so we can just walk this way. Yeah, so that's only a power 20 then. You happy with that? And I'm in your back. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. Hit he takes the power 20. Um, little hits. So power 20. Mm -hmm. Dice off one? Uh, yeah, dice off one, yes. That uh, will be seven to two. That's not too bad. Uh, but now, obviously, now okay. he doesn't get the shield bonus if he wants to go to town. A little bit more forward. Okay, so uh, it's hitting you in the butt. Uh, you are effectively an on twenty, right? Mm -hmm. That's correct. And I'm a twenty. I'm a twenty-one. So first attack, it's uh, dice plus one, does eleven. Oh, sorry, nine to the two. Yep. Second attack, will hit and do seven. So the the minus to the, the death ride, by the way, is yeah. from from Agatha herself. So I guess that's why she's yeah. forward. Um, so the, the Toro is armor 20, even in the back side of the shield. Uh, 13 to the 1. Okay. All right, right, so there's... Yeah, how about you? I had to eventually roll above <laughs> average. Yeah, finally, yeah. finally, yeah. Jan's yeah. dice uh, stops shit in the bed. And takes off the, the Toro. Uh, um, an a bulldozing elephant. elephant. You are an elephant. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Uh, he's got Fury. He wants to, he wants to be... Um, I need to get rid of these other banes. On. There's no point killing the Bain bot. Officer. Yeah. We'll hit him and we'll eat him. Oops. Uh, and we'll buy an attack on the other dude. We'll hit him and eat him. So that's the rest okay. of the banes dealt with. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all my toys, I think. So. That so cage reader, definitely then, frenzied. Didn't hit, uh, for some reason, the Toro that was in melee already. Sidestepped and hit the skin of bones. Um, this guy's just going to meander even more this way. He, like, he can, he can move the death now. It's the Toro. It's got finisher. It's not like it's worth. the worst chance. And he's not moved his phantasm. That's, um, that's the end of the turn. Um, I think um, yeah, Tim's 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 come out of this yeah. really well, like doing a combination of um, cage rage frenzy and, and skin yeah. emotes on the left whiffing. That's bad because just... Rathram can it's basically um, free strike there. Rathram get up, right? Uh, yes, I've got there. Oh right, she's is it? Um... Yes. Um, fine, walk over this way. Oh, no, it's, it's the, the henchman, the gap, right, wasn't it? Uh, so, but Brother gets to do um, a, pause a uh, you. 
vengeance move. <laughs> Doesn't have magical right. weapons. <laughs> there is guidance, so we can have magical um, weapons. So I'm gonna start my clock. Uh, gets so no one scores. Vengeance in four. Oh, I can't believe I didn't kill Barathrum. Jesus, I didn't even take anything out. <laughs> uh, so he's got all pulled down. He's obviously the, the oh, one he's okay. got to take. Well, uh, and then ruin and sacrifice. But not get fixed again and hit me. Um, so yeah, so that was um, all fall down, ruin and sacrifice. All fall down, probably not going to get used. Okay. <laughs> like, where, where he is. If you can get rid of these guys, Baratham can just get on to. Can he get? Uh, Tim, Tim went first. So this, is, this is top of four. And top. top of four. <laughs> and and, uh, uh, and Bratham can't get to Dreamer. She's a little bit too far. Like if if Dreamer was an inch closer, he could be guidancing uh, Bratham by going to Dreamer. We're looking at the crack back here. Could well be um, that Gatsby comes in. Well, yeah, between, between I think, uh, Brathrum and Gatsby probably takes out the Skinner Moans, both Skinner Moans, and the Archon, potentially. Um, uh, Desecrator probably kills the Rockatress. Um... I think the clock is probably the, the, the bigger threat. Um, I guess the, the Toro just, just does a little bit of chip damage on whichever one it can. Maybe it just runs backwards. Maybe it just runs out of there and goes and tries to find some ogres to heal it for next time. Does the melee weapon of the Defiled Icon do anything special? It um, strips off all your spells, I believe. Just talking about the the oh, okay. melee weapon, which does yeah. have dispel. You never see it happen because you just want to shoot things. Uh, you don't often see it, just obviously it means it doesn't expire. cast two spells, but uh, oh, no. it does have a, yeah. a way of getting rid of spells. Um... Like, does the defiled, the defiled sorry, does the, uh, the desecrated oh, just it's... back up here? Back up to here and kill the Archon and set to the clock. Right, doesn't you want to you want to damage the clock first with the the pots to try and fall. One point to the mind. Yeah, basically, he wants, he wants to start the clock before he gets actually into it with a heavy, really. Um, of course, the Loris could probably just um, do a bunch of that. Okay, I'm going to... Um... He obviously uses her mini feet. But it's, where, it's where Gatsby goes. Ah. Guess Gatsby could probably see... The probably see the clock. Maybe uh, without drawing a line, that's it. Uh, no game, uh, but you can always just vanish in the cloud. Um, or you can just get guidance off the uh, the chicks from my moment. Thirty is amazing. You just give them guidance, just like oh, I'll, just... I'll activate my iron. Yeah, well. yeah. They're, they're making the most out of this. They got shit to do. Ogrins proving how good they are. Um, like I really love them in, in a crick's list. Just like they will, you, if you're going long, uh, they'll heal so much, and they're just great probably, body blocks for, for a lot of your uh, stuff as well. That'll be six, six. So bathroom, looking bright, fine again. Um, a okay. Fully functional. Yeah, man. Bathroom. Not a care in the world. If he kills, if bathroom just stays here. Right, he can kill the Skinner Moans, kill the Archon, then, because the Archon's a warrior model, gets dragged below, so gets to go over here. 
<laughs> and position for next turn. Yeah. And Dreamer can't be incorporeal mm -hmm. next turn. <laughs> so, like, uh, and he just needs to then put maybe Gatsby over here to kill this skin of Moans, batter that clock. The way the clock goes, the Death Creator finishes it off. That's, that's probably really good. Um, so that's what I'll be doing. I'll be looking at um, bathroom coming forward, uh, smashing both of these guys off the table. Um, gets it here, then you know, gets to move mm -hmm. another six inches Armbow? down here. Yep, that's friendly. Uh, so basically, just threatens <laughs> um, Dreamer next turn, where she's got to either run into the kill box or cross the, the right, die. Um, Gatsby comes down here, um, smashes this kill. Um, in a row, it'd be the priority target. Puts everything else in, in, into the, the clock if he can. Got the death crater and guns to basically finish off the clock trace if that's out of combat. Um, if he can just kill the clock trace with guns, death crater goes down here, kills the, the, the cage rager, and Dreamer's got nothing left to threaten anyone with. The Gatsby problem right now got too many options, too much. Too much juicy uh, metal and, and flesh on the table for him to oh, want to kill. <laughs> what, what do you think, Ben? Do you think he's going to go to the right, uh, try and take out the Archon? And uh... she's got, yeah, and she's used so many feet already. Um... But yeah, yeah, she could just like throw out a bazooka. Agatha can probably just do some work herself. Um... You just stick a, a, a bot. Well, there's already a bot there, so Dark Shroud's already okay, been there. I'll just uh, activate the uh, semi uh, first. Okay. She can parasite. Um, wants to do as well. No, no, no Not sure forget <laughs> how, how much parasite's gonna gonna hurt this army. Um, I'm guessing. And, and if Parasite gets used, then he doesn't have to worry about sacrifice. If, sorry, if, ru if Parasite gets ruined, then Tim doesn't have to worry about sacrifice being used. Yep. Something goes wrong. Nope. Yes. It's, uh, yeah. Effective 17. Yep, so uh, three. Uh, wait, I was, I was in 11, actually. So the two did hit, because you're in the uh, gangfighter range. Ah, oh, okay. Sure. Um, yeah, so the skin of Moans are definitely the ones he's got to kill. Yep. Um, uh, uh, yes. Yeah. Well, whatever you like. Uh, I'll do the, sh the sword first because I hit that one on. Sure. Um, so it's 22 dice plus 2. Seems like a lot. We'll be uh, six. That's 6 to what column? Yeah. To the 4. And then the shield is about 17, so the dice off 3. Mm -hmm. Will be nothing. Doesn't stutter it. So but that that Toro has <laughs> got so much. Is. The Toro has done so much considering it's on one box. Look at it. It's been on one box. This is the second turn it's been on one box or still getting work out of it. <laughs> like, it guidance, huh? give, him, give him zero action. Some guidance. <laughs> um, yeah, I think definitely clear off this on the, the left. So basically, he's going to be scoring again, threatening um, Dreamer, killing the two uh, Skinner Moans. Um, I think he doesn't even need to worry about this right hand zone. He's, he's already uh, really well. If he'll go two up at the end of this round in this turn, when he kills the, the Archon like fairly, fairly reasonably. Um, then she will now it's a The mouse has no melee range, right? Say again? The mouse has no melee range, right? No, no melee. Um, okay, let's go there. I guess I'm moving to uh, somewhere more sensible. My dirt seers will go. Here comes the uh, the guidance. In fact, you can hand out three guidance. Like, and that's not all they can do. It's like, what's not to love about this unit? Like, they're, they're such a good support unit. You're not Australian, you should love them. Uh, we'll just give guidance to his fixers. So guidance, ghost walk on Gatsby's unit. Where he wants. 
activate and press forward and charge the clock. Mm -hmm. I did decide. And it's been loud. Go a little bit. This one. I have ghost rock now, so. That's yeah. a bit big. Not like fat, it's just the Bengal. I'm going to go there. Well, actually, no, I'm going to go there. This is a, a cheeky, uh, cheeky bot going to apply Dark Shroud on and these two. This one. Left, which is a good move. That's literally Ghost Walk is just to let these bots get where they want to apply um, the minus armor. One step, I can run there normally. Yeah. Maybe will. Yeah. Look, don't imagine. All of the useful things. <laughs> and the other guy will just go there. Uh, yeah, I'm surprised. From his fixtures on the clock. I'm surprised Gatsby isn't seven, there instead. Uh, so we can, six. we can pile, pound on the cinnamon. <laughs> In fact, you did it not too long ago. He had yes, the dice rolls coming up for, for Gatsby. Don't remind me, okay? <laughs> These guys have a good, uh, a good uh, joke yeah. with each other, which is nice. Uh, no, no. Six. Yay! Hey, you got it. He gets the charge uh, attack. I was 18, so it dies off two, and you roll an 11. So... Oh, it's not oh. an 11. He leaves the clock just on one. So everything but one damage to a five. He leaves one box in his body, and it stutters. Five, and then, yes, we will very much be leaving. Obviously, he can now vanish. He can vanish towards it and finish it off, or he can vanish towards yeah, the demons and, and start flying. Um, see in a minute where he goes. He might, he might just, like, you know, backwards. There he is. <laughs> yeah, we'll go like that. Okay. <laughs> uh, then I will vanish. Bye, Felicia. Over at Queen. Um, but I was trying to do something. Seems like this seems like very much the right call. Right. Just perfect. And, and yeah, there and buy an attack on the skin and moons. Mm -hmm. I think I'd, I'd be uh, happy with it. I think I think uh, he should he should have ended up yep. like around there with his uh, charge maybe, yep. and not so worry and and gone for the. Uh, yeah. Dice off three. Go for the skin okay. first. Um, yeah, and accepted um, that the clock just isn't as so much of a threat. Not gonna happen anymore. Sure. Um. Then. Grab them. Right now. Got like a little bit of damage on each skin of moons. Yeah. Not going to be in the clock first. Again, what you said is, is going to basically be given uh, the sacrifice option. Or there, why not? Um, attacks the Defiled Archon. Okay. More hits. Uh, hits. It's about 19. Uh, no, it's okay. 21 because of Dark Shard and Gang Fighter. Okay, so it does plus one. It will be six damage. Six to him. Yep. Just hits. Uh, kills it. Yep. And I will sacrifice on that. Yep. So sacrifice goes off. The both skin moons are fully healed. And the uh, the clock yeah. is from oh, one box to full. Yeah. That's the only ones that had damage on them. Then I'll uh, just uh, do full. the horns on the skin moons next to me. Sure. Okay. It's, it's about 16 effectively, so it dies off 5, will be 3, three damage. Do 4, four. And by a fist. Uh, definitely hits uh, straight dice. 4 yeah, damage, again, do 5. I think unfortunately Tim right should up. have been hitting the skin of first, because it has like 10 damage on it. Um, um, it had 10 already on it, it's left it on 21. Um, it would have two additional attacks if you wanted to just get rid of it first before. Starting hitting the defiled, it probably would have killed it. And then he's always got the death ripper and arcs to go and get rid of the um, uh, defiled archon. Attack the archon will hit on a mark eight. 
Uh, geez, you met eight with him. Oh, because you got the angle. Yep, yep, that's yep. no worries, that's a hit. <laughs> there, that's the foul lock on, the right is also pretty dead. So dice plus one. He's got no chance. Will be nine. Yep. Combine attack. Uh, we'll still hit, we'll kill it. Yep. Um, and then uh, buy an attack and the objective. That's also the objective. Oh. Mm -hmm. Will be six. Six damage. Buy the last damage to the objective. Kill it. Oh. So it kills the objective. So I go to two points. Um, this guy gets to go. I think that's uh, no, the, the point for the killing the objective straight away. Sure. Um, so Tim's up princess, two zero. Still, does she have gonna go up three zero if he doesn't move. Oh, well, he's going up to three zero anyway yeah. this turn because Rathrum's in the zone. Um. I can just stay, but I can't aim anyway. Okay, I'm gonna go there. Uh, attempt to bazooka the cockatrice. Okay. Will miss. Good job, Dolores. Got Good it. Times. Dolores is not. Good times. Not getting the big gunshot. Um, this gal will just go there. Guidance is no longer relevant. I think I activated everything. I'll pause and score so, one more in the zone on the left. You yep. to three. We're going to three, and it is now your turn four. I will start your clock. Cool. Thank you. So we will take three fury off the one skinny. Um, the bottom of four. Take... Yeah, we we thought we thought that was we thought <laughs> I thought for sure that Tim was going to be taken off two of those skinny bones. And the left archon for sure. Uh, two off, sorry. Maybe, Skinny maybe the clock there. and the right archon as well. Uh, yeah. Guys are defying, <laughs> defying what I'm oh, expecting. And uh, combination of like dice rolls, some mistakes perhaps, but it's it's late, late, like the, the end of uh, the round. For So, uh, come a bit. Um, Mirage is on this guy, right? Mirage this way. See what happens. Mirage is on this uh, skinny man. So. Uh, all right. So skinny on the left. See if he gets upset. He does not. Hey. Um, and just like playing right. all theory yeah. craziness. Um, he's just gonna try and kill yeah. Gatsby or move Gatsby with the uh, Dreamer. Hey, actually, get some work done. Think. Get, get something uh, on turn is this? Yeah, I'm not sure. Four. Okay, so we've still got a little bit of time remaining. So, uh, so Tim's down to just below 10 minutes. Uh, he's got 9, 9, 14. Um, Jan uh, just got basically like a 9 minute advantage going into this turn, but it's, it's, it's his. 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 So he's already had his, so. The right, comparable the length per turn, <laughs> and it's going to be pretty even. <laughs> God, it's been really difficult killing that guy. Can I just say? If um, if <laughs> if Jan leaves the Toro on the right alive this turn again, like someone's going to give him a slap. Let me go to London, Evan. Go around Jan's house, and yeah, give him a slap. A Toro has been alive on one box for three turns. Um, <laughs> Got no right to be doing more damage. Be somehow. I think so he's got the definitely got the hitting power to kill a load. Gatsby's not. Exploring marks, that's like, goes away. Gatsby just dies to the skin. In fact, Gatsby dies to the skin of his The Age Rage just walks up and beats Gatsby to death and uh, manifest destiny. Um, right, so I think. Gonna get stupid. Uh, she's gonna head on up over here. No, there is definitely a credible corporeal falls away. Fascination. Manifest. Uh, where? Yeah. I know, right? But yeah, skinny bones. Uh, sorry, the the cage ranger just beats Gas with death. She's gonna give the skinny um, number one. The skinny bones gets enraged. Uh, right, Spain. And charges <laughs> we're the box. Get it. We're gonna get this damn. So it can then just buy. The they, they can take all his extra attacks um, on to hack right, this. So. 
That seems legit. Um, let's see. But likewise, it, he should be able to clear out these heavies, really. We said that. We said that for two turns. <laughs> the heavies would die, and then no heavies are dying. Or, or very few of them are dying. And he's going to walk up over here. So we, we'll see, right? There's a... Uh... And take a swing on that bloody Baratrum. Mm -hmm. uh, so needing a six to hit. Hit uh, this time you are pal. You're on eighteen only. Right. Um, so this is dice plus one. Does ten. Uh, this is a really good start. Ten. Attack. He's got four boxes left with the second attack hits. We eat him. It so kills him. Well, yeah, we comes an arc node. Turn him into a pumpkin boy. Uh, then we'll buy an attack on the war monger. The monger. Um. Number two. I'm just mm -hmm. buying. We'll hit him. Top check. Uh, yeah. Got it. Yep. Yeah. Nope. Uh, do you RFP him now? Sorry? Do you RFP him now? Um, no. Okay. So I'll take his corpse to the page. Sounds good. Uh, and this last board attack. Hits and tops him as well. Yep, yeah, hits. Um, that's what that's what I said, right? Last turn, uh, <laughs> Tim could have just uh, tried to free map. Benny healed him like back round towards his deployment zone. Just sent a no go over to start patching him back up. Gotta kill this just guy. keep him going till turn seven. Otherwise, we don't get no fun. Champion Toro. <laughs> um. So. Does first. So I was going to say, so if, if, the, if, the, if the second skin emerges is going just here to kill Gatsby, oh. he's definitely not going to be able to kill the, the objective. Yeah, I think so. Hold on, let's just see. Um, is... He'll be able to yeah. contest it okay. unless he okay. moves I'll... pumpkin. Let's do it with the bazooka. Okay. Hits. Um, but that is still boosted, right? Uh, no. I, I don't know, actually. <laughs> because it's a. It's... A different rule, and yeah. that would normally work. No, it, it's only boosted if you've got um, point blank, like the pigs. All right. Sure. So it's it's still a ranged attack. Um. So off six. Mm -hmm. Six damage. Six damage. Three. Oui. Nice. Uh... Knock you down. Oh shit! That knocks me down. Oh, yeah. I did not know that. Oh. God, that's a real issue. Okay, um... Is that the clock just so being knocked down? Oh, that sucks, man. <laughs> that really, really sucks. Okay, um, not much we so can do about that. Clock just sadly. wobbles slightly, knocked down by a bazooka. Yeah, Jan definitely getting gotcha there, we, new models. where he hasn't, he hasn't seen how ridiculous yeah. this princess is. All of the Disney princesses. Let's see. Whoops. Dolores is by far here. the heaviest <laughs> armory. This lovely lady. I'm gonna walk on up just over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, 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 well, I'd hope so. Right, the, it just walks over there. Um, I definitely, I definitely can finish off that. Make that skinny angry. Bloody, bro! I wouldn't let the Toro be alive still. <laughs> I'd, I'd, I'd waste the attack if you need so to. Waste it on your clock. Switch it over. Um, free strike. Um, but then again, I guess I guess uh, Dream could probably just be a tire death if you need to. Right, Skinny, it's your time to shine. So. So, Skinny is angry. If you if you kill all the heavies here, then Jim's gonna have a lot less options. Yep. Off. Um, Dreamers. Sorry, I need to think about this for a sec. Dreamers should be on three, right? That's math best. I assume. Uh, got math best. Working on it. Yeah. I'm sure they will pick that up, but um. He's just gonna walk his ass up over here. Yeah, I wonder if um. Okay. Even if Jan, um, even if Jan kills all the heavies, on... is there still an assassination out? That's a hit now. Um, um, 
Is it? You are. Yeah, because it's thirteen. Yeah. No, I'm fourteen. Oh, you're fourteen. Oh, you went down one armor. That's one right. Armor, okay. Yeah. Oh, yep, sorry. So this is my second attack. First attack. That's it. We'll hit. It's the second uh, attack. What's your armor? Sixteen. Sixteen base. Yeah. Sixteen. So this is sixty-three. Plus five effectively. Already. Uh, we'll just plus five. Down. He's got three damage. So. Out. Uh, that's ten damage. Uh, sorry. Uh, thirteen damage. Yeah. So I'll take eight. Yep. Uh, <laughs> we'll buy an attack. We'll hit. Uh, five damage. I'll negate it. By an attack. We'll hit, I imagine. No. Nice. No, plus five. Give me this pause because yeah. you're plus five, right? Plus five, so that's ten damage. Um, so so even if it negates it, it takes five. If negate it, that's right. Yeah, it's, it's five damage, yeah. yeah. <coughs> so that's a miss from the other attack. Excuse me, guys, sorry. <sighs> okay, so. Fine attack. It's uh, it's nice okay. plus five. Four. Oh. Okay, so we just need to roll a four, really. There you go. Kills him. Yeah. On to negate it. Uh, uh, the bots stay in play. Oh, uh, hold on. Who's that? That's Princess Gratiela. Oh, her back is turned to me, so I'm going to run this way. Just a mouse being annoying. Pumpkin. Turn around. <coughs> mm -hmm. uh, and just making sure it's harder for him to remove the zone, I guess, at this point. Um, right, the cage rager finally gets to do some things. I think you blocked him, actually. Uh, really? I mean, we can just move the wagon. Yeah, for sure. Um, yeah, the cage, the cage looks pretty blocked, but. But the death knock could just like the death knock could just charge. Yeah, Jan needs to realize that the death knock is a, a combat machine. Yeah. <laughs> that that fishing rod of finisher can that could do work. Then he could kill a Toro. <laughs> God, I hate moving things. Yeah, I'm surprised he's not just going this way and. Yeah, at least doing some damage to the Death Crater. Good, so it gets the finisher dice as well. We haven't done yet. Um, I, I'm, a, I'm a fan. Quite well, how much I, I talk about how I think the Death Knell needs nope. something else. I'm going to make it. So instead, it is nice, it can do a bit of, wagon will just... bit of something. Oh, right. I can charge with the wagon. Oh, no. <laughs> Does it have repo? Sorry, let me just read up some rules here. It's a, a realization that you can charge. I can... It doesn't repo. Oh, yeah, and I wish it did. I wish I had repo. But that that old that old nope. like, pretty much dead donkey. No repo for you. Doesn't get him very far. So he's just gonna walk a little bit this way. Mm -hmm. So he just moves the death knot slight. Right. This guy cannot quite walk through there. Walks in Stand and starts here. Not swinging. Right, so um, taking a swing. Yeah, that death crate is pretty, pretty healthy. Nomad type dude. Uh, hit him. Your armor. Uh, 18. Because I've got a shield. 18, so dice of one. Kills it kills the, kills the Toro finally. Uh, we'll do the second attack <laughs> on the other that dude. That Toro is like hit ridiculous. Him. Your armor, 18. Yes. So dice off so one. Dice off one. Four to the two. Come on, guys. Um, so, uh, sorry, he should be on zero. So first board attack. Uh, we'll hit a thirteen. Yeah. Uh, and do six to the two. Yes. Second board attack. We'll fourteen after that one. And do. Eight oops, to the one. Six boxes uh, left and we've got another attack. We've got another two, I think, potentially. Oh my god. That's the damage roll he wanted. Okay, then he gets the damage roll he wanted to. So it kills it. That's all the heavies dead. Gatsby and all the heavies, by the way. Um, uh, can't turn anybody into anything. So... What, would you do? what would you do at this point? 
Davy and Bellip, what would, what's your your strategy? How do you save it? Be within um, four of the flag. Is that right? Two. Two contested. contested. Yeah. Okay. So Death Rip is the melee uh, arc so it's not going to be any use. Knock you. Basically, run. Um, yeah, the scenario. Out, so, like Jan's oh, not scoring. scoring so. Oh, you are okay. Um, can we knock you? Yeah, Jan's still not scoring. Um, okay. and right zone isn't going to be good either because the Gremlin Swarm just sat in there the whole game, so he can score like an extra one. The maximum we can get you away, basically. And... Nope. Like that seems like that's probably it. Doing that. He can just go to try and kill her somehow. Can he? Can he? Can he kill a dreamer? Dreamer should be on three count. Um. Righto. Um. And he's got. Can I activate? Oh fire! No, we're running out of toys, really. So yeah, that's me. Uh, switch to you. What could you get there? Uh, so nobody scores. <laughs> I'm not sure what she what she can get in. Turn five. Um, Misery Cage got going. Fury. Um, uh, so. How much could the dirge go? Yeah. go. My caster um, goes to seven. This is Tim to five. Operate. No score. Over there. Come on. Um, Ren. What's the stats on the medium phantasm? Uh, he is 12 16. Clock's on two. 12 16. Uh, Skinny Bones are both on three, so this, he's got loads the of is not got engaged at the plenty, moment, right? plenty of transfer targets. Uh, didn't seem like it. Um, uh, but it should only be on three. I like it. Yeah, it should only be on three camp because he's cast Manifest uh, Destiny and he's up kept something and doesn't have uh, I've kept, I've kept Mirage, cast Manifest Destiny, so it should be on three. We'll go there. She goes there, knocks down Dreamer. Um, what's the stats? Yeah, let's have a look. Uh, he is twelve. 40, oh, he's not. He's not. He's not even looking at it. Twelve, I believe. Um, two twelve. Um, I'd be looking at. Lion to you. Yeah, thirteen twelve. I'll shoot the two D three guns. No, actually, I'll shoot the uh, royal pistols. The two times part twelve shots. Um, shoot the mouse in the back. I'm a rock nine. Or hit spot twelve. Yep. Kill it. Like I'd I'd and be looking at the second gun at Kariana Rose. Hit spot twelve. Kill her, I guess. Ooh, you made me angry. I don't give a shit. <laughs> I, I I was kind of thinking looking <laughs> looking at it going. Does I will. Does the I blood will. priestess <laughs> come? I don't. Charge Kariana, <laughs> then arc, uh, then do a right of blood um, spell. Um, put Hellfire into Dreamer after like, the yeah, Princess tries to knock her down. Then, uh, the Blood Priestess charges over here, kills Kariana, then does a Hellfire, uh, but knock down Dreamer. That's two basic transfers that she's got to use. Um, then double Hellfire from the Arc Node. I put my leader in a brilliant position there. Yeah, she might do that. <laughs> really brilliant. Um, um, we could do the um, guidance to the resurator. Do Gatsby unit first. I run it right, so just run this uh, this bot on the left behind uh, Dreamer to stop from going anywhere. Ignore. Not being melee. Okay. Wow. When Rob's there, attempts to shoot the Gremlin Swarm because why not? Yeah. Come on, I will. Uh, I think I'm Rob five, so that's a miss. <laughs> it's just just a miss. Who the heck would have been? Crazy. We got my guides on this. He could he could have been able to to clear the zone and uh, score to five. Then... And he still do you might mm, this guy what's there giving guidance to Agatha because he could have done that right um, um Agatha have gone over this way instead six vanish yeah, forward yeah. um there, uh, takes a, so to start with I'll fire yeah uh, pop the pumpkin the on the left. Right? Uh, then yeah. walk over this way, uh, vanish yeah. forward, uh, Hellfire, yes. Gremlin Swarm. I'll ruin it. Well, what are you yep. casting? Uh, Hellfire. Yep. <laughs> I'll ruin right. it, so that costs you three. Yeah. Um, so I'll 
See if I can roll a five. If I can, I'll boost. Would, would it wouldn't have been great for sure though. Uh, uh, okay. uh, yeah, these guys have been really fun to watch. <laughs> and absolutely defied like my attempts to, to talk through what I expected each round. I rolled a ten. Not a ten. Oh wow. Okay. What did you roll to hit? Sorry, I didn't see that. Uh, seven. So seven, and I'm a sixteen. Yeah. No, no. I rolled to a hit to seven. Yeah. And I'm arcing, so you're only a twelve. Oh, okay, okay. Yes. <laughs> okay, he did. Okay. Um. So am I safe there? No. Uh. And that one has mirrors. I go to ten, right? The spinner mode. Uh. Yeah. And the skinner mode when uh, the mirage one goes twelve. So Ooh, nice. <laughs> and they were like good yeah, spots. I wanted you to spend that extra three period. Yeah, I know, but I have to do it. I think. You're left to just basically go and body block. Be a pain in the ass. At least get out of range of one of them. <laughs> So I'm going to vanish back there. Okay. Uh, this guy will just run up in your face. In my face. Will actually charge the mirage skin and moan because why not? Yeah, man. Well, not sick. Let him live the dream. About yep. twelve. Oof. Um, <laughs> nine, seven. So you're Look at that. The three, dice yeah. roll there. Seven damage from a little uh, ogre uh, with a spanner. This guy will go stand there. Actually, I'll go stand there. Mm -hmm. uh, this girl will go stand there. Uh, She's protecting um, Agatha. Everything, so I'll pause. Think I'm gonna maybe, again. maybe well enough. And then it's over to your turn. Five. Okay, there. score one. Uh, let's see. Bomb a five. We just go for the assassin. Him scores again. Or zero. Could at least kill two dudes. Uh, right, so we're going to pay one to stand up with the clock. Like, um, he, he can try and kill Agatha. I think the, the right move instead is we'll drag both just off, clears, we'll drag all goes, the off of both. clears this middle zone. I'm not kills the objective. Happening. Okay. Kills the guys on the right, right? So it goes. Um, the go clock just clock stands up. Or... Yeah. One. Walks and no, sprays the, one. the uh, river raider so the back. Major raider walks over there. Two yeah. The gas bot. Track the gas bot's out of control, so out of command, so it doesn't contest. Just needs to kill the river raider. You can score that zone by doing so. Kill Dolores uh, and the ogre. Score yeah. another two. So, Flag and the zone with uh, you know, three more uh, to the zone. So that's three. Because the objective yeah. four so basically stops uh, him from being able to take scenario. And just just camps on everything. Yes, we are gonna mirage. pretty much and just goes. Yeah, I've got. Um, I'll come over the wall for that uh, that chicken jack next turn, and there's nothing I can kill Dreamer. Nice, nice, quick turn around. I think. Actually, do you know what? Sorry, no. I would go for. I think. Obviously, you, you, you know, yeah, I've not been playing the game for like nearly two hours, grinding at each other. What is this? Yeah, it's an yeah we so stand up, do they still count as walk over, they spray. There's still a unit of uh, you then you're standing way away. Then you'd be in the zone. So, right now, kill the goblin. Is number one contesting at the moment? No. Uh, you can always uh, arc through the, anyway. the cage rager if he fails it's as well. It's going to charge him. Mm -hmm. Might be what he kind of is doing anyway. Uh, can you? Oh, yeah. sorry, sorry. No, 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 sorry. He's got to take a test first. Um, sorry, he is over here somewhere. It's very unlikely that he passes. Uh, so it's it. he's he's frenzying again. <laughs> skinny doesn't go three at least. He's charging. <laughs> this is the second time the uh, the cage rager is uh, uh, sorry has frenzied three. and hit one of his own guys. So three damage to the one. I know, that clock's fine because yeah, the sacrifice so, being a good uh, last turn. Let's go with Dreamer, who's going to go in corporeal. Hmm? 
the uh, hands gone quiet. She's going to walk over here. Uh, take a shot at Graziella. Uh, what's her name? She's, she's not scoring uh, that zone. 12, 13? 13, I think. 13, so we're going to boost with uh, suicide, so she is stationary. Okay. He's critted, so he gets to actually move her before we shoot him and make an attack before uh, stationary if he wants zap her. to. Do we... Now you're corporeal, right? Oh, <laughs> yeah, suppose I am. Uh, we'll cast Manifest Destiny for three, and I think that's me. So, who's going to kill this guy? Yeah. Okay, so we'll walk the skinny over here. Uh, he'll take a swing at Graziella, hits automatically, uh, turns her into dust, I imagine. Yeah, oh, yeah she just dies. Fully loaded skinny variants. Other guy. Miss, nope. we'll buy an attack, we'll hit, and tough check. Uh, not dead. Okay, so he's got the zone cleared, so he's scoring the flag. We've gone up over here. But Dreamer could just be there, maybe scoring a flag. And... Uh, take us. Ooh, hold on, what is this? Oh, that's the Annihilation Servitor. Okay, so it's hit on the objective, does uh, six damage, seven damage. Uh, okay. Second attack does. Oh, what did I roll? Eight damage, so it kills the objective. Objective dies. Uh, right, this clock. Uh, Jan scores his first point. Sure. Zap the river raider in the back. Uh, boost to hit. Can you see I'm him? Not... Yeah. yeah, like that. Yeah. Heavy. That. Sure. Boosting, uh, spraying the the river raider. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's right, right there. Um, right, Scoring score, one, two, three. A two. Uh, this guy. Go be a dick somewhere. Oh, I know he's going to go off the oh, zone. He's very much the guy who's scoring the zone right now. <laughs> I uh, thought he was leaving the flag there. He's like, <laughs> like uh, I just set this all up uh, and then I'll yeah. leave the zone and leave the flag. Pause there. Uh, he's, go. got, he's got a. Uh, yeah. So at the end of the turn, and, okay. and extra two. Six. Goes up to three. Three, four. Put you on three. Yep. Oh. Whoops. <laughs> yeah. Every time, man. Every time. Yeah, I mean, I'm lagging. I'm just going to yeah. refresh. Okay, no worries. Two. I will do it. There you go. So, right. Tim's turn six. So, uh, top of six. Um, I think there's, there's no there's no potential fascination I think, on the table anymore. Uh, then uh, Steph just runs, I guess. Went to bring enough. Uh, no bad idea. Uh, these run. Guys are literally just getting in the way to stop scoring. Um. Like, if you can stop all the scoring, like Dan doesn't have a huge amount of time either. Faster. Goes. Whee! There. Is that a good idea? Probably not. Goes there. Uh, we'll pause. Nobody scores. Yep. Over to you, Cope. Sure. Um, so, so we'll take. Bottom of, bottom of six. Theory of the uh, skinny over there, the clock. What's the advantage there is uh, that uh, we'll cut ourselves. Jan's got to do things like his fury manager. Uh, cast is going to go. He doesn't have to worry about that sort of stuff. Cast manifest destiny and camp two. Why not? Actually, um, that's gone into the zone. Right, so and he basically just needs to do like this little boy. He's going to run over here. Do you want to do a free strike? No, I don't. Sorry, I don't. No. Okay. He's just going over there. Right, this guy. And walk up. Oh, there. Over here. Right, just walks in the middle. Flashes both these guys. Super, not to worry about it. The cage rager clears the other ones. Basically, 
Jan can be scoring two here. Okay. Work like that. Uh, it doesn't really need to do uh, much else. The servitor or whatever that thing on the left is, hits it. Uh, attack the blood priestess, hits it and kills it. Um, the cage rager will charge whoever that is. Don't fight it. Okay. Uh, we'll... Sorry, the cage is pulled. So we'll want to charge, want to boost, why not? So boosting manifest destiny hits. Uh, Die. Oh my god, does that hit him? Embarrassing. Uh, second Explain. attack will boost him. I'm gonna dodge. Oh no! Or just out of, out of melee. <laughs> Beam's already gone, so there's, there's no follow up. Uh, box is gonna go this way. Right In fact, can it just aim? Yeah, it's just gonna aim uh, and boost the spray. We'll hit it, boost damage. It kills that guy. Uh, on the dirge here. They're scoring. Yeah. They're scoring too. <laughs> um, and that I'm gonna pause it. Yan goes up to five. You, I scored oh, four. Two. So Yan's now ahead. Uh, uh, yes, We've got a minute. Yan's got like forty six seconds. Close, man. <laughs> yeah, uh, no, yeah. This is turn seven. Turn seven for you. Wait, no, uh, yeah. It's actually kind of shitty because that's the minute I lost that was on my clock, but we, we oh. both noticed, so... I think this, this um, is uh, the, the point of no return, I, I think. I can't kill anything in time, so it doesn't matter anymore. Yep, I mean, you're welcome to have an extra minute if you like. Sorry, I know that's a bit shit to say. Um, no. Is there anything else you can no. do? Yeah, I think... I think um, you know if I can have another minute, might as well try yeah. and kill your cage right Yeah, now. absolutely, man. Kill some shit. Um, so Casper activates, um, we'll just be very, yeah, uh, the skin and bones in the back. Um, very sound what they're doing. Uh, Casper parasites will hit in the back, uh, we'll take a charge attack, we'll hit in the back. Um, your parasite did skin and bones 19, so 19 16. down to 16. Uh, I think yeah. she's 12. Um, so dice off four will be six damage to four. Bind attack. Uh, it's definitely a four. Will be four tier two. Uh, bind attack. Hits it. Nothing. Bind attack. Hits it. Not. Oh Jesus Christ. Uh, bind the last attack. Hits it. Uh, six damage to your uh, five. To is it just about alive? Attack, but can't get there. Uh, so now it's really over, I guess. If Agatha could have killed the skin of it, yeah, but I literally can't do anything. Okay, <laughs> like, I can put these apart, so you at least can't easily spray them. Can't kill them all. Yep. Uh, I played. I played really bad as well, especially my third turn. I forgot all the stuff. Yeah. Oh. That looks like uh it got really confusing in the middle there, man. There was some So they they, they have like yeah, yeah, smashed yeah. each other back and forth for for, for like nearly the whole length. I just ignore the, the, the flag clock. until it's a little too late. So, uh, that, turn was, yeah, that was really fun to watch. Like, really that's entertaining. Really hit, uh, that's uh, the guys have been uh, really good to each other <laughs> yeah, in the process. Uh, instantly it didn't happen. <laughs> But yeah, thanks for joining us. Yeah, thanks for watching. So uh, obviously, I said, like Sexy Flanders have already uh, won the round. Um, you can definitely have scored. It was yeah. more of a, a yeah, the honor, the honor of, honor of South the, Africa, and for the the fun of the game. The gremlin swarm with my um, desecrator. That's yeah. why I was like being so difficult with the sixius. Yeah. Uh, charge into the forest to kill the objective. Oh, okay. Then yeah. I go four zero ahead, and you you probably can't stop me anymore. Uh, these guys uh book it out for a minute it's gonna go in that and say thanks though yeah thanks thanks very much guys that was uh, that was really entertaining we, i caught up at the end of jan's turn one so it wasn't too bad didn't miss uh much action uh
Well, yeah, yeah, and then and then basically every turn, I was like, I think this is what's going to happen, and both of you like defied <laughs> any any chance for me to like predict. I was, I was like, it's like I'm pretty sure Tim kills like all of uh, all of Jan's heavies, and then combination of dice and stuff, and then and then I was like, oh, I think then I think Jan kills all of Tim's heavies, and he didn't do that either, and then that just carried on. The Toro lasted like what three three rounds on one box with that Toro, <laughs> the fucking champion. I was, I told, I was saying on the chat, I was saying on the chat to Evan, I was like, Evan, go around and slap Jan if he doesn't kill the Toro this turn. <laughs> the irony was actually that you killed it when I was a nerd, because you killed the six shoes. <laughs> Wait, waited until he didn't need to kill it and then killed it. Glorious. But no, yeah, you, you, you guys are absolute champs playing against each other. It was really nice to see, like, good... Good, good, good chops. Good, uh, having a laugh and uh, being very good sports to each other. I've, I've got, I've got an hour and a half till I'm playing a game, so I've got to go and like, do some stuff. Are you? Is this your official game or are you? I don't know. I'm not. I'm not playing in the VTC. I, I'm. I've got like a league game against. Uh, I'm playing with a, a bunch of like the um, the Americans, like the Full Tilt and the Muse guys, and a bunch of the Aussies. So I've got my league game against uh, one of the Americans at mid starting at midnight because <laughs> yeah. uh, you know you got to do these things sometimes. But yeah, thanks very much, guys, and uh, obviously congratulations to uh, Sexy Flanders. You've already won the, the round. Flanders, you won. And uh, yeah, yeah, I the I'll leave. I'll leave you to that. But thanks very much, guys. I'll, I'll stick. Obviously, you can watch it on Twitch. Uh, and I'll, I'll try and stick up the uh, the video on YouTube over the next day or so. Uh, but yeah, thanks again. There we go. Thanks very much for watching with us. That was uh, entertaining slap fest of heavies failing to kill heavies, <laughs> and then eventually uh, doing it. But yeah. So um, I think the, there's another games on that I'm for the BCC tonight. I've got a game that I'm playing. Like I said uh, in a league at midnight UK time. Uh, I haven't asked my opponent if I'm going to stream it, so I'll see first of all how how tired I am by midnight um, playing a new faction because it might just be a shit show. No one's going to want to see that. So yeah, thanks for watching, and hopefully we'll be back for more games tomorrow if I can grab like the right people. Cool. Thank you. Cheers, guys. Night.